man with the plan, Bulldog Trading himself. Follow that on over, and look, we already have Junk Savvy, the first person to to uh, say hello there. She's got the number one. I'm seeing Junk Savvy is one, Jim Matt right behind her, and then Tom Boom. Uh, folks, not to toot my own horn here, but I am the first person that liked it. Um, so, which is as it should be, I am Lieutenant Likes after all, so I should be the first person hitting that like button. Uh, we are now up to uh, 16 though, as I like to see, so let's get that, uh, let's hit that like button. Let's, uh, let's smash it, let's tap it, let's click it, whatever you want to do, but let's hit it folks, let's hit it, hit that like, hit that subscribe, right, right, let's show the love, let's show the love. It don't take anything, it just takes a second, it just takes a little second. Let's see, ooh, we got Hood at 14.44, now down 4.81% on the day. We got Lucid Group at 39.31, down 6.89%. Sundial, S N D and L at 54 cents, down 3.17%. AMC at 18.77, down 8.75%. Zynga, Z N G A at 9.02, ended up closing up uh, about 0.6%. PayPal PYPL at 174.46 down 2.22%. GM General Motors at 58.89 that closed down 3.6%. Roblox RBLX at 77.28 that closed down 2.2%. Um, DWAC again now at 84.83 still up 19% total on the day. Um, that, that amazing amazing day for DWAC. OCGN at 404 down 4.94 percent on the day. Apple at 169.80 down 1.89 percent. Um, oh here we go yeah that's right that's right. Tana May Tana May you were wanting about that uh wanting to know about that uh fun wasn't it? Are we wanting a uh are we wanting a fun update? Was that what it was there uh Junk Savvy? We need a fun fun update for Tana May? Was it fun or she and B big? At fun at 323.16 right now. Was Tana in the B big one there on there as well? B big now trading at 528, up nine cents in the after hours. That's right, B big. Thanks, Junk Savvy. I, for some reason, I was thinking it was fun. <laughs> I don't know why I was thinking I got it mixed up with fun. That's right, Tana's got the B big. Uh, B big now at 529. So up a dime since closing not too bad folks considering it closed up 27 percent today b big doing great things closing at five dollars and 19 cents now up nine cents here in the after hours uh we shall see it did hit a high today of 549 um that high was actually hit at 10 30 a.m so it hasn't gotten back up to that level but um still still just doing great i mean it had a wonderful day and it's still um having great movement here in the after hours we we'll have to see what it keeps doing uh, throughout the rest of the day. Um, all right, Tom. Let me see here, Tom. I got to give you yours now. If at Tom, boom! Look at all y'all gambling now, trying to jump in on this. I love it. I love it. This is wonderful. This is wonderful. Uh, sweet. Really, it's on one. <laughs> Hit the like button. None of your business. Throwing it out. That's right. Giving me the thumbs up. The Lieutenant likes. I love it. I love it. Uh, this is really, really cool. All right, folks, I'll tell you what. Um, it is 4.40 p.m. I'm going to take a very, very quick break here. Um, and just, just so you all know, not too much longer here, we have the amazing MIA who's normally on, normally on in the mornings. So normally you got MIA in the mornings right after Birdie uh, tonight. You've got MIA in the evening. That's right. He will be taking you on through to the rest of the after hours uh, trading session here at 5 p.m. Um, for the rest of the, uh, uh, you know, well, the rest of the trading session, which is what I just said. <laughs> it just takes you on till 8 p.m. The official, official rest of the trading session. So uh, I'll, I'll mix it up here on the actual wording of, well, we closed, but see, we close at four. But I mean, to me, it's kind of like we closed, but did we really close? really i mean our options are off the table i do know that as far as stock trading goes hey still got options out there right i, st I still got plays that can be made um not trading options jesus i just want to get <laughs> trading options puts and calls and everything else they're off the board at four o'clock but my options in general the options that i have in general still have those till 8 p.m Y'all dig what I'm saying now? <laughs> Does that make any sense? It's like, Adam, you're, what are you talking about, man? You crazy. You crazy, man. You crazy. I know. 
I'm, I'm, I'm losing it today, folks. I'm losing it. 4.40 p.m. All right. Let me take a real quick break here. Very, 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 very quick break. And uh, I will be right back here. Um, hey, do y'all want, does anybody want, does anybody want, it's, it's the after hours. Does anybody want a quick peek of playing real quick here? I mean, we are in the after hours. Let me know. Let me know. You got like, you got like, if I get, if I get three peekas in the chat, I'm going to play it. If I get three peekas in the chat, I'm going to play it. And I'm going to take just a very, very quick break and I will be right back on that. So, let's see. I'm giving you all the chance. So, if you want the Pika, if you want the Pika, we'll play the Pika. <laughs> There's one, there's two, there's three. All right, well, guess what? You all have Pika. Pika coming right up. Folks, I will be right back, and we're going to have MIA on and not too much longer either, so uh, it's going to be fun, going to be amazing. An absolutely amazing evening is coming up, so enjoy your Pika. I will be right back. Hope y'all enjoyed a little Pika Pika action. Um, 
Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. So, let's see here. Anything crazy happened in those few minutes? No, I don't think so. I think I think we're still I think we're still sitting pretty. <laughs> uh, let's see here. What we got going on here in the market? Be big. Uh, Tana May, if you are out there still listening right now, Tana May Be Big is at five dollars and nineteen. I'm sorry, five dollars and thirty-four cents again. Uh, jumping back between uh, closing price and back up to 534. That was a real quick action there on uh, B Big. So yeah, five dollars and thirty. Oh, back to 519 again, Tana. It's playing around. It's playing around. Uh, that B Big there just mainly uh, it, it's it's jumping back between 519 and 534. So uh, hope that gives you a little bit of an update here. Let's check, folks. How's our uh, how's our D Wag doing? What that D Wag doing? Eighty four thirty one now down two dollars here, folks. Two dollars even here in the after hours on D Wag Digital World Acquisition. Um, again, just a uh, real real nice action today. Um, let me let's see. Seeking Alpha put out a new. Uh, that's not gonna let me read that. Why did I even click on that? Uh, just calling it a, a daily. A daily mover. Um, I didn't think there was anything, uh, any new, any you know, new, n new, new news, <laughs> new, new news uh, that pushed it up. But um, it was just uh, on the daily movers uh, list there, which I already knew that. So, uh, DWAC kicking some butt today. So, uh, let's see. Of course, you guys know about Microsoft buying Activision, um, taking the the bet on the metaverse. Let me read that little article there. Um, any of you all that got into Activision, who was already in Activision, I'm sorry, before uh, before this morning, um, before the pre market. Wow, congratulations! Any of you all that jumped in on Friday, goodness. Uh, Will Rawson in the chat says, I'm still holding my AMC. My average is under nine, so I'm still up, but it is dropping closer. So just wondering, still holding on and hope for that moon trip. I hear you. I hear you, Will. Uh, I saw the moon briefly when it spiked to nearly 80. Exactly. Um, it, Will, yeah, I mean, and that's the thing, brother. We're, uh, I, I know these days, man, these days make it tough. These days make it tough. But the good thing is, Will, is that you're still up, right? You're still up. Um, I, I still think uh, we've got great things in store. Um, I, I like also we've got February coming up. You know, th that's big for DWAC. Um, there's also a lot of good movies on the lineup, though, for Valentine's Day. You start getting, um, usually there's that push coming through. That week, there's usually a, uh, a nice kind of, the, the numbers usually that weekend and that week are usually better at your movie theaters. Um, I mean, typical Valentine's, you know, dinner and a movie, uh, some flowers kind of thing. Um, you, you just, you know, lots of times that, that's that's that whole environmental play where uh, you're kind of timing it and using what's going on around you. I know we've got the regular stuff going on, but like the timing, the holiday season, now we're coming up on Valentine's Day. What's big at the movie theaters? Valentine's Day is usually pretty pretty good um, you know just like we saw a nice movement leading up to spider-man's opening um, I thought we would have done better if matrix had been only in theaters I think it would have been a little bit better but it wasn't it was HBO max as well so um, as we get out of that and more now that movies are only gonna be at AMC or well at the movie theaters I'm sorry not all AMC theaters but now that movies are gonna start you're going to start seeing less of them opening up now at the same time on your Disney Plus and your HBO Max. And they're solely in the theater. I'm hoping that that will help push AMC back up. Uh, the next earnings call will obviously be very big. That's going to be one of the first questions that I'm going to love to hear answered. Are we done? Are they done acquiring new debt? Is AMC done acquiring new debt? Right? I know they're still going to have debt. Don't get me wrong. But are they done acquiring new debt? That's what had been shrinking every quarter. So the hope is, is that there was no more new debt taken on uh, this final quarter. So I can't wait to hear that earnings report um, on AMC. But Will, I, I, I think you're, I think you're okay, brother. You're still, and that's the thing. You're still green, my man. You're still green, which is awesome. You know, you got to look at it that way. So it makes it a little bit easier. I, I know I know the profit level might have shrunk slightly, but, I mean, brother, you've been holding it since before it was nine, so you've been in this the long run, Will. You know what this has done. You know what, you know you, what you've seen it done, uh, seen it do in the past, just since you've been holding it, you know, just since you've been holding it. So uh, 
don't lose faith, brother. I, I, I think you're all right. Keep an eye on it and uh, and watch, man. You know, keep your eye on it and watch. And uh, but I think I think there's good things. I think next month is going to be good for AMC. Um, and I really think it's going to be good for DWAC. But I think February will be good for AMC too. Um, yeah, so Microsoft buying Activision is a $68.7 billion bet on the metaverse. Um, this is what uh, one tech analyst is saying, Brian Sulzy here, uh, anchor editor at large, uh, Yahoo Finance. So Microsoft may have significantly upped its standing in the future of the metaverse by spending big to gobble up gaming publisher Activision Blizzard. This was a metaverse-related deal in terms of what Activision could play with its franchises, said tech analyst Dan Ives of Wedbush on Yahoo Finance Live. I think this is going to have a ripple effect across the broader tech space, not just on the enterprise, but especially on the consumer. In a surprising move Tuesday, Microsoft said it would acquire Activision Blizzard for $95 a share. The deal, valued at $68.7 billion, is Microsoft's largest takeover ever. The deal comes as Activision shares had dropped 27% in the past year before the deal amid multiple cultural controversies inside the company. When the transaction closes, Microsoft will become the world's third largest gaming company by revenue, behind Tencent and Sony, according to the tech giant. Microsoft will be acquiring iconic franchises like Warcraft, Diablo, Overwatch, Call of Duty, and Candy Crush. <laughs> All which have massive potential in the metaverse, experts such as Ives believes. Embattled Activision CEO Bobby, Bobby Kotick will continue to lead the company, but will report to Microsoft's gaming chief, Phil Spender. The content will drive the Game Pass business, which is right now lower than 25 million subscribers, cloud mobile gaming, and be a gateway to the metaverse. Activision is known as one of the top publishers in the industry with a portfolio of high-quality cross-platform IP, said Jeffrey's tech analyst Brent Thill. Thill reiterated a buy rating and a $400 price target on Microsoft. Wedbush's eyes thinks the deal will provide a nice boost to Microsoft's bottom line over time. This is the right deal, I said. This is the way. So, Thill, uh, yeah, Jeffrey's tech analyst Brent Thill, is giving it a buy rating and changing its price target to Microsoft to 400 bucks. Um, as we've seen in the past, multiple times, companies, uh, so many times, don't tend to hit those uh, uh, price targets, but it's still nice. Um, it, yeah, it's it's one person, you know what I mean? But it's, it's still nice. It, it makes you feel, I tell you what, here's the way I look at it. So let's say you bought into Microsoft uh, this morning. Let's say you bought into Microsoft uh, around, um, you know, let's see, it opened 301. So let's say you bought Microsoft at 301. Um, anytime you see any analyst coming out with a price target um, closer to the $400 range, it's going to at least make you feel a little bit better probably about your purchase. Better than, let's say, if the analyst was coming out with like a $200 price target. Let's put it that way, right? So, <laughs> I, I know lots of times these don't hit. But you got to think, so like right now for Microsoft, right, we've got 43 price targets here through Yahoo Finance. The average is 371.23. The low is 299.93 and the high is 425. So we're playing around that $300 level. But you got to think, Microsoft is currently trading at 302.65. So we are at the very low end of the spectrum there um, for the price target. You know what I mean? So uh, it, it, that... Not saying that it, it will hit that 400, but it, it is definitely at the low end of all the price targets. Uh, Yahoo Finance has it actually now from a buy to almost more towards the uh, trending towards a strong buy. Um, they've been eat, beating their EPSs uh, all the last quarters. I mean, by a significant amount. Microsoft beat it by 20 cents a share last quarter, 25 the quarter before, 25 the quarter before. 2020 fourth quarter beat about 39 cents a share. Um, and keep in mind, so Microsoft's earnings report is coming out January 25th, folks. That's next week. So next Tuesday. So keep your eye on Microsoft as we get closer to their earnings reports, um, especially now that they have uh, entered in this deal with Activision. Um, that, that obviously uh, can affect things. That's a very, very large deal. So. We will have to see what that uh, what that does for Microsoft. So, heading back here to the chat, 
Let's see. Good job, Mexican Silverback winning 404 bull coins. Way to go, my friend. Mexican Silverback in the house. Let's see here. Did I miss anybody? I think I got um, the bonus. Oh, did GTA get it too? GTA roll. Oh, GTA rolled 100. All right, GTA RL. Let me give you your 50 then. Yes, I. Hopefully this goes through GTA. There we go. Congratulations. GTA. I think I got Tom Booms. I think I still owe Nunya, and then I will be caught up. <laughs> Hopefully I should be caught up after that. So, but yeah, again, so that, uh, that was that news uh, again on Microsoft and acquiring that Activision and uh, a lot of crazy movements. Microsoft today um ended up down seven dollars and 55 cents so obviously as far as that um it, that that buy goes it, and and it's not surprising we've seen this happen so many times when a company will buy another company uh we'll get the news on it um we hear about it and, it, and it's funny because it always seems like the bought the company that's getting bought up uh they turn around and do well and the company that actually purchased them uh, ends up having like a bad day it seems to happen a lot. I know it doesn't happen all the time. It just seems to happen a lot. Case in point, in this particular case, we had Microsoft down $7 on the day, right, roughly, and Activision up instead, up $16.92, uh, $16 uh, which translates up 25% on the day So for Activision. Heck of a rise. Heck of a rise up for Activision. Um, and let's see here. I'm interested... So our average price target for Activision, I'm sure these are going to get slightly adjusted here with this new news. Um, Edward Jones had downgraded from a buy to hold back on the 13th. Um, but again, and we have our price targets. We have 32, an average of $92.27, uh, all the way of a low, low of $54, all the way up to a high of 125 currently trading at $82.31. So before today, though, until this morning, I mean, we we were down at uh, we were down in the mid 60s. So um, it, it's still well, well, well below its average uh, price target or its high price target. It's getting a little bit closer to its average of uh, 92. But I'm 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 interested though in watching what Activision and what Microsoft does here, especially over the next couple of weeks, um, and as we lead into uh, Microsoft's earnings reports. And I'm seeing, yeah, and see, then we'll turn right around and Activision will have their earnings reports uh, February 3rd. Um, they have beaten theirs the past one, two, three, four, four quarters in a row. Um, they have beaten uh, their estimates by three cents, 14, 15, and two cents. So I know it's not a lot, but they're still beating them. So it's, it's nice. It's nice. And uh, earnings not in the negative. That's nice to see as well. Um, yeah, we do have revenue of $8 billion, but our earnings at $2 billion and not in the negative line. I like seeing that. like seeing that. So, Activision and Microsoft, I will be watching you two quite a lot. And, uh, and General Venom X, if you're still out there, I will be watching that ILUS as well, my man. I'm still, uh, I, I still, uh, <laughs> I still dig it, man. You're, you're. Your uh, your plays, they've done pretty well, General. So uh, you, you uh, I'm still so appreciative uh, in the first place that you uh, you turned me on to be big, my man. So that that was uh, very beneficial. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, let me give Nunya his coins here, and I can get caught up here on the fifties. Give yeah, business fifty. All right, and then I should be caught up there i will have to uh i have to really be watching that chat now on this new uh 50 deal <laughs> i have to be watching it do you watching it all right all right all right let's check it out here folks want to see d white now down to 8310 uh we have dropped another dollar um off of d white folks we are down here to 8310 that is uh down three dollars and 21 cents since closing we did close at 8631 um and honestly i mean that's the thing though it's uh 
it's not surprising. It, it's kind of doing uh, what, what a lot of us thought it would do. I mean, uh, some of us did think it would continue uh, pushing on in the after hours, but I was kind of leaning more towards it having this drop as it started dropping. And a small drop continuing on through the rest of tonight and maybe into uh, pre-market hours in the morning. Um, but if it does... I still feel that if we continue dropping down and we get around that $80 line, let me see where most of this was at. Yeah. If, yeah, if we continue falling down there, I'm thinking 80. Anything 80 and below by um, open, and I'm thinking we'll have a nice push tomorrow. That's uh, that's that's Adamy's non-financial advice. That's my uh, That is my prediction here. We'll have to see. So that is, uh, that is my hope. We shall find out, though. We shall find out, though. All right, all right. Let's see here as things close. We got any big uh, big runners hopping into here? Let me check this out here, folks. Looking here. Uh, so, what did you all make? I mean, what 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 did you all um? Let's see, what did you all end up doing here? Percentage wise, any of you all made a good play today that you sold? I don't want to know your amount. Um, just percentage wise, did any of you all sell out of any positions today? And what was your uh, profit? Your percentage uh, uh, profit? That that's what I'd like to know. Um. Oh, General Venomex is still out there. Head out of me. You're very welcome. Yep, ILUS is a long hold for me. Do your DD and get back to me. All I'm going to say for now is, in my own opinion, it's like Berkshire Hathaway to me. Wow. All right, General Venomex. I will definitely, definitely do uh, uh, some DD dives into that. I rolled it down, my man. Um, I, I, I like it. You said it. You, you've got me uh, You got me interested. You have piqued my curiosity, my good man. <laughs> All right, Toxic just won. Sweet. To All right. I hear you, Tox. Toxic 50. Thank you, Junk Savvy, for letting me know. I appreciate that. Because, yeah, I, I, <laughs> I'll I get lost in it while I'm on the mic. So thank you, thank you, thank you um, <laughs> for letting me know that. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Let's see. Yeah. So if any of you all made any um good plays, yes. Tom Boom, Adam E announces Toxic's ninety nine. Toxic rolled a ninety nine. Congratulations, Toxic. Boomin, as Tom P would say. Boom, boom, boomin. <laughs> yeah. But if any of uh, any of you all made some good plays out there, yeah, let us know. Uh, Luis Sanchez, no sold. I bought three shares of QuantumScape and ten shares of Archer uh, Aviation. All right, Lewis. Um, Archer Aviation. So, Lewis, smart play, man. Let me. Um, did they have a little bit of a dip today, Lewis? Did Archer? Uh, did Archer have a uh, have any kind of a of a drop today? Um, before you hopped into that Archer Aviation, couldn't remember how they uh, if they did or not. You have to let me know. What was the other one you got into? Quantum Skate. I hadn't heard of that quantum scape oh quantum scapes corporation all right and they are stock oh qs okay gotcha so down 5.71 percent on the day um lewis you got into that uh quantum space uh quantum scape core 19 dollars and 50 cents up nine cents here in the after hours um looks like it opened at uh 2020 dropped down to uh 1942 right around uh 125 p.m i hadn't heard of them um, I see some news out from five days ago. Volume on it was pretty high, 8.32 million. Well, it's lower than its average, 11.4, but still. Battery technology for EVs. Okay. All right. Then that's where I heard of them from, Lewis. Awesome. Okay. Well, that is good, buddy. And it looks like you got in at a pretty good time, man, um, Lewis. I mean, especially with, let's see, it's a 52-week high of 71.97. 
52 week low of 1912. So yeah, you're getting off of it. Uh, you're getting into it right off of uh, a yearly low, pretty much. So nice, man. Um, doesn't have earnings all the way till May, so you got some time to play with it too before uh, earnings comes out. I like it, Lewis. I'll definitely uh, keep an eye on that. Let's see, Randy Stogner sold some B big for 32% return. Randy, 32%? My man, way to go, Randy. 32% is great, my friend. That is freaking cool. Accumulation time, man. That's right, Lewis. I hear you, brother. You know, these uh, these dips, man, that, that's uh, they can be great, great, great time to accumulate. DCA down. Definitely, definitely great time. Uh, thanks for bringing that to my attention, Lewis. I appreciate that. I will, I will keep an eye on that QS, man. I like that. I like that. Smart thinking there, finding that on the lows. Remember, folks, that's what uh, Andre P. sent to me earlier. Um, reminded me about some of the uh, lows on the day, folks. I mean, we have had, uh, we've had a few stocks today um, come through and actually hit their 52-week uh, lows. Um, let's see. NMVC. um yeah, we had uh, Archer. Archer did do its drop, didn't it? Uh, didn't it, Lewis? So yeah, we had NMVC. We had its Archer, CDZI. Um, all these, I mean, fed some. This QS is QuantumScape, uh, very close to its 52-week uh, low as well. So these might be great, great uh, opportunities uh, for some of you all who've been debating uh, potentially on any of these companies. If any of you all were debating on them and then decided, hey, I've been waiting for that good entry point. I've been waiting for that big dip. And, um, you know, uh, bam, <laughs> you know, you finally, bam, uh, you, you've got those dips. You might have that entry point that you've been waiting for, you know, um, not financial advice. I'm not telling you to run in and start jumping into everything, but I'm just saying, maybe you've been waiting and this was your, uh, you've been waiting for that dip today might've been your dip. So, uh, look around and, and see if you have been one that's been waiting to uh, jump into something, this might be your best time, right? Uh, Randy Stogner says correction was a bit higher re uh, return. I bought B big on Friday at 316. Ooh, nice, Randy. Even better. Even better. Uh, General Venomex says last thing I'll say about ILUS for now until you guys do some DD. It's the only way you will really get excited is when you read up yourself. I hear you. Um, is that the first? Uh, the first anniversary shareholder meeting is on the 28th. All right. That is coming around the corner, General Venomex. Just like we have uh, Microsoft earnings coming up. Two. Venomex, that's one. So, shareholder meeting for that ILUS. 28. Shareholder. And I also want to keep an eye on Microsoft for its earnings on the 25th. Let's see what that ends up doing for Microsoft and Activision. All right. Thanks, General Venomax. Appreciate that again. Uh, BC Mike in the house says, exercised five $4 calls on B-Big, but didn't sell yet. Oh, but you exercised them. Nice. BC Mike, I hear you. Uh, congratulations on that, my friend. Hey, man, that that is... Uh, it, you, hey, you ain't got to sell them yet, man. Just exercising them. You already know you're sitting really nice and pretty. <laughs> you're already, isn't it nice to see that account go, Whoop! <laughs> those shares go, Whoop! <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> BC Mike, congratulations. Uh, B Big Pop, we got a B Big Pop going on right now. We still got uh, we got some B Big Crazy action here in the after hours. Oh, nice, nice. All right, all right, Tana May, if you're still listening. $5.60 now, be big, up 42 cents in the after hours. Another 8%. It is running, folks. You might want to get in before that for the best price, is what General Venom X is saying for that ILUS. We'll definitely look. I will definitely look. Uh, let's see. BC Mike did sell some $21 forward calls for 95% profit. BC Mike, that right there, way to go. 95% profit. Yeah, boy, that's what I'm talking about. Um, BC Mike, I did the same exact thing today, uh, right at opening. Uh, uh, so I'm, I'm all about that, that, my man. Definitely, definitely did the same thing this morning uh, with my Ford call as well. Uh, Sabrina bringing us that UAVS uh, 
AG Eagle Aerial System says it will refocus its efforts on robotics, automation, and manufacturing. Thank you, Sabrina. Uh, CRDF is at Cardiff Oncology. She announces new data from lead clinical program in CRAS, K-R-A-S, mutated uh, metatistic uh, coral colorectal cancer, showing robust objective response rate and progression-free survival. That sounds really good. <laughs> I, yeah, I think that's good, right? Yeah. Yeah, progression-free progression survival. Yeah, awesome. All right, so that's on uh, CRDF. Thank you, Sabrina. Tom Boom saying vote on it. And we should make 69 part of the law. <laughs> Tom Boom, make 69 part of the law. Part of the, uh, part of the, uh, the lotto. Okay, okay. All right. BC Mike says, uh, yes, it made up for a bit of the AMC uh, beating on the options. I hear you, man. I hear you. Yeah. Hey, and you know what, though? We still got It's a long week, though. It's a long week, BC Mike. We got it. We got it. Man, you know, you can come back up on that AMC, too. Uh, Tom Boom says, okay, great. We'll get Toxic to announce that and add a me now. Yep, well, you got me to announce it right there, Tom Boom. We added 69 into the lotto. <laughs> Giggity. Uh, Sabrina says, S-G-E-N. Seagen reports data from S-E-A-C-D-40 in combination with other ther uh, therapies in metatastic pancreatal ductal adenocarcinoma. PDAC at American Society of Clinical Oncology Gastrointestinal Cancers uh, Symposium. All right, Sabrina is giving me the tongue tied, tongue twisted um, fire drops, is what she's coming through with right now. That is doing a very good job on totally twisting up what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Love it, Sabrina. <laughs> LPTX Leap Therapeutics to present new data from Dis Distinguish. Distinguish is it is it do they space it like that for a reason? Distinguish study of DKN-01 plus Sizelzumbaba at the ASCO GI Cancer Symposium. Oh my goodness, Sabrina, I you are you are bringing them today. You're bringing them to me, and uh, I'm just fudging up the names horribly. <laughs> but it's so much fun doing it. <laughs> It's so much fun doing it. Uh, B Big still running, folks. Five dollars and seventy-three cents now here in the after hours. Uh, up ten percent just in the after hours, folks. B Big closed up twenty-seven percent. Right, we're already up another ten percent. Uh, it opened up today at four dollars and seventy-six cents. How nice is that? How nice is that? Opening up at uh, four seventy-six. What a day! Um, as a matter of fact, let's see. I mean, we got. Let's see. We hit three eighty-two. Last Friday, at 2.30 p.m., we were down to $3.82, okay? And, I mean, here we are. We opened up this morning down there at $4.03, I'm sorry, one eighteen At 9.35 a.m., yeah, 9.35 a.m., we were at $4.16, and here we are at $5.69. How awesome is that? It's awesome! Uh, oh, oh, Lady Robin, give one? Okay, so if you roll the... Okay, so if you roll the 69, then you get 69, Tom Boom. Is that what we're doing? So did, did my lady, did she roll a 69? Did I miss that? I think that's how you're doing it, right? Am I reading it right? I just want to make sure I'm reading this right. Okay, so Lady Robin, did you roll... Why am I missing that? Did she roll 69? Lady Robin, whatever. She she rolled 69. Okay, so we're giving... Okay, so she got the... Is that what... Okay, I got it. All right, just making sure here, Tom. <laughs> Lady Robin. Whatever. 50. All right, there we go. Good deal, good deal. Just wanted to make sure, Tom. Cause I, man, you know, I'll get, I'll get confused. I'm. <laughs> it's not easy to confuse, or it's not hard to confuse me. It's not hard to confuse. Me. All right, Sabrina, dropping in some more. Vero, V E R O, Venus Concept receives FDA 510K clearance of Venus Bliss Max for non-invasive, uh, lipo, lipo, lipolysis, lipolysis, 
of the abdomen and flanks. Cellulite reduction and muscle conditioning. Conditioning. Goodness. Venus Concept receives FDA 510K clearance of Venus Bliss Max for non-invasive lipo lipolysis of the abdomen. Lipolysis. Lipolysis. I know I'm jacking that up. Of the abdomen and flanks. Cellulite reduction and muscle conditioning. Oh my goodness. <sighs> wait a minute. Adam. No. Wait. Tom's making a joke. Junk savvy. Tom's making jokes. No. She wrote a 69. So we're giving her 50, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're good. Okay. <laughs> wait a minute. Now why'd she get 19? What did I miss there? Tom? What did I miss on the 19? Oh. Oh, we're supposed... Oh, okay. 469. We do give 69. My goodness. This is so confusing. You guys are just... Y'all yeah, yeah, confuse me. All I know is that B-Big's up to $5.70 right now in the after hours. Uh, come on, B-Big. Let's go, baby. To the moon. 69 for 69. I got it. <laughs> Tom Boom. Clarify the rules. We confused. Thanks, Chuck Savvy. I know. It took me a second, too. I, I, I was like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What am I doing here? What am I doing here? Oh, uh, <laughs> you got it, milady. You are very, 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 very welcome. <laughs> oh, this is fun. This is fun. Yes, newest rule. I'm loving this. I'm loving this. Oh, goodness, goodness. Let's see. How's our after hours action looking here? Do, 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 do. Let me pull up here. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Where did that go? I don't know. <laughs> Trying to find here. Of course, it's wanting to be all slow for me here. Never wants to uh, speed up when I need it to speed up here. Sorry about that, folks. Trying to find uh, one little section here I was looking up. If it'll pull back up. So some of y'all made some really good plays today. Um, and got out. Made some good percentages. So what is... Let me ask you something. If you... Um, Alright. DWAC. For all of you holding DWAC. Um, for all of you all who's not planning on DWAC being a long-term play for you. Right? Or however much of it you have that you're not really... Can, planning on it being long term you're thinking more along the lines of um i don't know maybe a couple weeks right we'll, we'll we'll give it a couple weeks um or for some of you all holding for some of you all that it may just be holding on through february waiting for this uh true social to be to be launched right i know that's not everybody i'm just saying i'm sure some of you all out there holding dwac are probably planning on you, you have a specific price point that you wanted to hit for you to sell or maybe you're planning on selling it before before the release of true social if you are if you are one of those people and you are planning on selling and getting out of your dwac holdings um let me know in there in the chat what's your actual price point though what, what are what are you needing to see it hit for you to uh hop out of that what are what are you wanting to see dwac at before you would consider uh selling your dwac just kind of wondering what uh everybody's basics are there what they're uh kind of thinking on that you know let me know in the chat if there's a certain um certain price point you're wanting to uh wanting to reach and if you reach that you're gonna uh pull the trigger and say all right i'm i'm done i'm done and if so please 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 let me know what that price point is because I like to know what's going through uh, some of y'all's heads at the times. It's fun to, uh, it's fun to kind of get, kind of uh, see what you are all thinking and what, what you're liking. Oh, we do have a heist going on now, folks. We do have a heist. Corinne, oh dang, B-Big is flying in, in the after hours. I know, Corinne, B-Big has been kicking butt all day and into the after hours. Um, Randy Stogner is saying, I'm holding a quarter of DWAC indefinitely. Um, don't do crack by DWAC. <laughs> Fat Cat Productions, there you go. That's right. Yes. Uh, uh, up with hope, down with dope. I exactly, my man. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> uh, D. Wack, Tom, boom, three thousand. 
Tom Boom, you're waiting for it to hit 3,000. Well, Tom Boom, I know you are a hardcore uh, DWAC lover um, for the long term. So, Tom, this was more about um, for any of you all who may not be holding um, that DWAC, who's not planning on holding it for a long time, what's your price point? Um, okay, Nunya says, I will sell 45 DWAC at 100. Will leave me 55 left running on free house money. Nunya, that is awesome. That is awesome. Um, I love hearing that. That is really, really cool, Nunya. You and Robin, congratulations on that. Uh, that is amazing. And you know what makes it so amazing is because I know you're going to get there. I know you're going to get there. <laughs> and you know you're going to get there with DWAC. You know it, and I know it too. Uh, it makes it even better. Makes it even better. Uh, let's see here. Southern Red said, I would sell my DWAC when it reaches 300. Okay, Southern Red. So if it reached if it reached 300 tomorrow, Southern Red, you would sell it, right? I get that. But are you planning on holding it? That's a nice number. But are you planning on holding it until it reaches that, no matter how long? Or, um, you know, what? What's your is, is that long term for you, Southern Red? Uh, Andre P says, looking to get out of 10 shares of DWAC at 97-ish before the launch of True Social. Gotcha, Andre P. Oh, I think you'll be able to uh, hit that. I think you'll definitely hit that mark, the 97-ish mark. I think we'll be at 100 before True Social launches. Um, GTA RL says, mine as well. Run it to 104. Gotcha. Um, I'll buy puts 115 to 130 GTA RL. I got gotcha. you. So if it's hitting that, you'll start looking at puts on it if you hit up to that level. Ebreak Kid says, DWAC, I'll wait for a spinning top on the daily candles or for it to drop um, below the nine mark. Okay. Okay. I can dig with that. Dig with that one too. Um, I think I just heard, if I heard a knock at the door, did I hear a knock at the door? Caesar XL Fleet is at its 52-week low. Can you give me your thoughts? Possible floor? Oh my goodness, Caesar! All right, XL Fleet. Let me pull up. Oh, XL Fleet there. Because right, I'll be honest, uh, Caesar, I uh, know nothing about XL Fleet. Um, <laughs> we'll look at it here. It looks like we are at two dollars and forty-one cents in the after hours. It closed at two forty-six today. Um, coming through with the same amount of volume, roughly a little bit over average, but uh, so we hit its 52 week low, 52 week high of 2240. My goodness, yeah, we did, huh? Two dollar and 45 cent, uh, 52 week low. What was any news on this, Caesar? What is going on? I don't see anything since uh, since January 3rd. Let me pull this up on uh, Yahoo, man, because you got me wondering about this one now, too. Mm -hmm. What is this here? All right, Caesar. XL Fleet. There it is. XL Fleet Core. Let's see. You guys can follow along on this here with me. Do 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 you that's know, what I wanted long, to hear. Long day, but good outcome. Exa okay, that's that's that was that was the main part there. That's that that little in part that you just threw out there is exactly what I wanted to hear. Um, good outcome, long day, but good outcome. Exactly. Oh, so now your job is out. to catch me up on everything that happened across the stock market today. Oh my goodness, it was so crazy. <laughs> uh, what's B Big doing? Sorry, Tana. So Tana's driving uh, MIA. So anytime Tana comes through, we're uh, trying to give her B Big updates um, because she can't hear Tana. B Big is at $5.84, still going like crazy. Up 64 cents since closing. 12.3% uh, up just in the after hours MIA. That B Big has been running like crazy today. Um, absolutely amazing. Let's get to so, 640. I got a sell right? order in at 640. There you go. There you go. For half, for uh, half my shares. And I'm gonna I'm gonna hold the other half and maybe we go to the moon or something. There you go. That's uh well General Venom X, I mean he's only holding uh five hundred and or what fifty four thousand shares? Well you fifty nine thousand shares of B Big. Fifty nine thousand shares of B Big. That's right. my man, fifty grand right there too. That's right. Man, so, that's right. Yeah. And 
what you missed in my so he told us he said but that's his number two holding so his, his main holding now i thought it was going to be amc or gme you know we were all taking our guesses in the chat but it's i l u s i you know what i i I probably would have been wrong, but I would have been along those lines. I wouldn't have been. I wouldn't have went with AMC or DWAC or any of them. I would have went with something more yep. futuristic. More futuristic, and yep. uh, he is he is digging it. He asked all of us to do our DD. He uh, said, "Hey, you know, it's non financial advice, but he himself he has over a, over a quarter of a million uh, invested in ILUS. He has almost." Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think he has over 900,000 shares. So, nice. um, awesome, awesome. He is definitely an ILUS well <laughs> and a BB well. So, loving it, loving yeah, it. Yeah, he's uh, he's one of the many people. You know, we've we've talked about that before. You just uh, you pay attention when they say something. That's right. You yes, know, never, yes, you do. It's never a uh, a buy signal or anything like that and and you'll see if you've dealt with him he doesn't push stocks he doesn't shill stocks he's he's like my man rock and chair warrior or like saucy fredo or david perez guys that just bring us oh yeah really good plays to look at day stuff in, day that out. they're looking at that they're making off good on that they're liking um yeah man how awesome is that that we have a community that does that um and it's 100 percent free you know what I mean? It's absolutely no, they're not they're not charging anybody. They're not they're not asking you to uh hey uh hey you you want to hear about some plays that just made me a killing, you know, up 200% on all these uh you know uh, uh send me some cash app money over and I'll tell you all about it. No, they're not no. doing any of that. You know, uh they they're throwing this out completely free. Doesn't cost a dime just because they want to see other people succeed too. You know. Um Hey, Caesar, uh, this XL Fleet Corps, I mean, I, I know I'm just doing kind of a basic uh, glance here. Um, of course, what do you know? Yahoo says overvalued, as El Snap would say. They call everything overvalued. Um, I didn't really it's know an anything easy about out this. if you say that. Yeah, it, it, is. it, 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 it is. It gives you an out any which way the stock goes. That That is true. That is very true. Let's see, that 52-week range, my goodness, uh, from $2.45 up to $22.40. Uh, let's see. It's it's last EPS was good. It's last earnings report. Yeah, it missed uh, quarter two, but it made quarter four of 2020. It made it in quarter one. I mean, it beat it by 45 cents in quarter one. It's a hell of an EPS. Um, well, and do you think earnings per share is going to become a more important figure to look at this year? You know, with with inflation. Obviously, I know. Every, yeah, knows stocks based on futures. You know, so people want stuff that's making money now. That's you know, yeah. At, at, and at this time, I, well, and I think it's good being able. I I, I agree, MA, and I, I think uh, seeing if you go back and you're immediately looking in the last, you know, if if they've been beating earnings, then you can, you know, you can at least feel somewhat good uh, going forward. You would hope. You know what I mean? It's almost yeah. like I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it. And I feel good about it going forward. Um, what I don't like seeing though is the financials for the annual just revenue and earnings. And seeing an earnings down of negative sixty million um, for twenty twenty, um, and the revenue of twenty million, I, I don't like seeing that. But again, that was twenty twenties, and I know so many people got drilled in twenty twenty. So that's the other part. Well, it's hard. and you got to look into you know numbers by themselves can be presented any which way. You know, what I mean, you know, mm -hmm. whether they say they're down this this much, they're up this this much, you know, whatever, however they want to word it. So it's just like uh, it's like GameStop's earnings per share last quarter. Obviously, they were down because they invested all that money back into inventory, you know. But that's not explained on a headline, you know. Exactly. That's not explained just in a number. But it is a great idea, especially I, you know. I heard you talking about all these earnings coming up. It's always good, yeah, to, to look back and and see how the stock reacted. Again, nothing is guaranteed. It's not like oh well, last time it had good earnings, it did this. It doesn't mean it's going to happen again. But it's another piece of the puzzle you know see how they react to quarterly earnings see how they you know we're gonna have last year's earnings coming out kind of sporadically over the next few months so yep take everything with with a grain of salt and do your own dd you know there's nothing better that i like than a stock that has good earnings kind of under cover when you look into them you're like wait a minute this stock dropped 
fifteen percent on these earnings, but when you look into it, it's like sure they lost money over here because they put money over here and did this. They eliminated debt over here, so yes, this quarter is going to be down, but this makes the future, and that's where you can get some really good plays. Exactly, totally agree. I also like uh, MIA. I like on the uh, uh, the one thing about uh, the Yahoo Finance one. I like going into the holders and the holder breakdown. Um, seeing that the Vanguard Group uh, has nine million, nine and a half million shares of this XL fleet, BlackRock has three and a half million shares. Yeah, you know, you, you, uh, I, I like being able to see where a lot of this is being held. Um, Twenty-five percent of this entire stock is being held by insiders of the stock, um, by insiders of the company. It, that. You know, so that's when I like to uh, then look. That's why I don't like. Oh, so now to even be, I'm not to, seeing my to, insider sentiment to, to play to play the numbers game even further on that. You know, that's something that you have to look into though yes. as well. Not, and I'm not just being a jerk. Like I'm not pointing out. I'm just trying to show all angles. So you see insider right. ownership, mm -hmm. but now you got to look into certain dates. You got to dig a little deeper because you have to see. Okay, have they are they allowed to sell anything? You know, because there's lockup periods. And then yep. you have to be aware of when that period is and then check after that what the institute, you know, what the or not institutional, what the insider ownership is after they have, you know, we've seen Lucid fall all the way down to $15 on the day yes. that early investors were able to get out. You know, it's again, these are kind of rare things. You know, you can you can take that at face value, especially when you're just kind of looking at a stock like we do kind of on the fly. Okay, this is the inside ownership. 25% looks great. But then if, you know, and I'm not saying this stock in particular, if it's something that you look at and, and then you see, oh, well, you know, coming up here in three weeks is when they can first, you know, just to be prepared. Because that's not, sometimes you see them double down. Some, you know, it's not like you always see a sell off. And even when you do, a lot of that is structured in, you know what I mean? If you have somebody that has that kind of as part of their, their salary, you know, like my sister gets stock options as part of her salary. So obviously she's going to want to make money off of those. It's not like she's trying to tank the stock or she doesn't believe in it. It's just kind of structured to, okay, these will sell at this date. Hills Bill yeah. says that lucid lockup is tomorrow, by the way. Thank you so much, Hills Bill. So, ah, okay. Be interesting to see. I don't, now, I don't think we're going to see any kind of sell off like we did uh, last time. Uh, real quick, Blizzard, have a great night. Thank your dad for me. Uh, stepped up hey. when I needed him this morning, as did the yes. whole fam. Yes, but he did. Tell him I missed him, and uh, I will definitely talk to him in the morning, 100%. Missed all you guys this morning, man. It was. Uh, we all missed you, man. Bit off. Everybody was asking if uh, if I actually spend the time with his dogs today. <laughs> was he actually uh, was he actually letting the uh, letting the dogs out uh, and and hanging out? Actually, like taking them for walks, playing with them, hanging out with. Them. <laughs> it was just a, a weird situation. The kind of weather and other things, but you know, just the you know how it is. Life gets in the way. Oh, yeah. You gotta you gotta handle. It this does. You got to handle. It does, brother. That that's the all we can do. Outcome, like I said, my mom's home. Everything's good. So, and that, that is matters. the main thing. That is all that matters. And I'm Amen. back with y'all. I made it. That's about right. Eight, about eight hours late, but I'm here. <laughs> he is here. He is here. Oh my goodness! In my eight, look at that. General Benamex just hit seventy k positive in my folio. Come on, baby. My thesis is playing out perfect today and over the past week with me big general then x my goodness 70k positive way to go Woo! oh man oh man that's nice. awesome i'm that not quite awesome. there but <laughs> yeah not me either man <laughs> my, my 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 b big is in the green though now so <laughs> that's right that's right well it, so get this so right away man it, it, the morning worked out so uh, right off at MIA, are you porky pigging it right now? Oh my god, Max can sell her back. It's too cold for all that right now, but that's right, it's a little too cold to be porky pigging right now. Uh, poker tonight, I may be porky pigging because uh, <laughs> I, I can see a beer or two in my future tonight, a well deserved one. So, there will probably be porky pigging going on. <laughs> probably some porky pigging going on, just saying, just saying. <laughs>
Yeah, so I got a that right after it was right after opening. So uh, I was sitting there at opening, and um, I think it was maybe about 15, 20 minutes after opening. First thing I did was uh, I sold Ford call, my Ford call that I've been holding, because I, I saw Ford started going down, and I was like, man, I didn't like where the market was looking. You know, the futures numbers were down, and obviously we ended up going uh, red pretty much across the board. And God, the Dow closed down 540 points. But um, so anyway, I sold that. I sold that Ford call. Um, I still held on to B big. It started taking a dip, and I was like, you know what? This baby's up over 200% profits right now. I got. I, I pulled the trigger, and uh, I went ahead and sold that call option. It expires Friday. So I mean, I, I was. You know what I mean? Um, I'm on play. my last week. Of good it. play. Yeah, and I, I took. I took those tendies. So I was happy with it. Um, and I'm happy with the day having a uh, B big in there and getting that Ford call sold. Um, picked up a, a, a couple uh, little smaller plays, uh, longer term, uh, uh, way way off call, way far down call options, I guess you'd say, um, on that uh, uh, blink uh, that David Perez was talking about. I found a real cheap one for six dollars. <laughs> it was a six dollar hey. call option. Yeah, man, and it's just it. You know, it's one of those. Uh, Throwing the dart out there, I, I'm I'm liking where the company's headed though, and yeah. it, and it's six dollars, man. If I, I can that, up on that, Sonny card. Michelle to score the first touchdown last night and lost, so I would have rather bought. I should have bought a call option with it. Right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and will give me a bunch of free money to play with, so it's like, yeah, why not? Why not? Why not? <laughs> exactly. That's what I mean. They get, you know what I'm, you know what I'm saying. I mean, what when it's when it's that, when it I'm, says. I'm, I'm looking at those, you know, what I mean, just because, like, this is the first bets I've put on football in, in like two years and i had like i had some money in my fan duel account and then when they legalized uh the actual gambling in new york they just blessed me with you know like a hundred bucks or something just for free so awesome I'm, but, but i'm looking at those and even these long shots i'm like betting on you know what i mean some obscure to back up tight end to score a touchdown and this to happen and this to happen and i could have made seven times as much on dwac today just by buying and selling an hour later so it's like i, I look right. at these these bets now like <laughs> you know what i would rather bet on computers trading stocks even if they are trading fictional shares somewhere i'd still rather bet on that than human beings and referees and all that kind of stuff although yeah, i did man. win on the rams I've... last night so <laughs> <laughs> whatever but you know what there's some computers that would have told you to bet on the rams too so you know uh, they they were probably you 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 probably uh uh, they they were probably just as effect some computers anyway out there <laughs> were just well, as like I, you know anymore. most of those bets i considered them gone i considered the money gone even though it wasn't even mine even if it was real money it's like okay i bet 10 bucks on this it's 10 bucks it's gone i you know you're much better off buying a 10 dollar call option like you said it's better than a scratch off Man, you know it's I, I, yeah i think so <laughs> I mean, to me, it is. They've definitely I mean, done me uh, that well. Happens, you lose that six dollars. Well, exactly. exactly, exactly. And it's like That's... you know, if you if, say you buy five of them, even if you make if you sell three of them for ten dollars, you know what I mean? You've made. 12 bucks sure that's not gonna you know you're not winning the lottery like that but hey you do that three four times a week hey now you got an extra 60 Game. bucks exactly off, off, off very minimal risk you know what i mean it's not like you're buying a thousand shares or something to try to make 12 bucks you know what i mean you're you're risking six dollars it's nothing oh yeah you're exactly right and that's why i'm also um Look at I'm, BBIG, Junk Savvy just sold my BBIG, Tendy time, that's what I'm talking yeah. about. Congratulations, that's what I'm talking about. Way to go, Junk Savvy. Heck yeah, and see, I'm, I'm, oh, talks, everyone's Dante. Hey, Dante, well, I'll tell you what, Dante, uh, oh. she will be on in our thoughts and in our prayers the rest of the day. Okay, yes, so she will be. We will be oh, thinking goodness. about her. And Dante, if there's anything you guys need, uh, you can reach out to us on here through Discord, any which way. Get a hold of us, my friend. Uh, we love your ma, and we will be thinking about her all day or all night. And yes, definitely. Hopefully, this is uh, hopefully this isn't anything uh, t uh, too bad, and they can. Um, um, it's just uh, some. I, I know she had had. Uh, 
her her brother had gone through some health stuff in the past some family members so hopefully uh th this is uh something she can get over uh quick and it's nothing uh big it's hopefully it's maybe something small and um yeah, get get uh please 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 send our and love she's and prayers. Twenty three thousand strong. Yes, she does. Supporting her, so she's got she's got a she's got a huge 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 family supporting her here, Dante. So yes, please uh tell her that we are uh, praying for her and sending her our well wishes and everything, and we've got her back. So goodness, oh I hate hearing that. I hope it. I hope you're totally all right, Toxic. Maybe it's just uh you know it could be anything. That, well. It, something small. That's what we're going for here. That's a little That's small off. thing. Yeah, maybe it was just uh, it was DWAC exci excitement today. Toxic. Yeah, we're hoping That's this what, was an overreaction. Exactly. Little overreaction. Get it taken care of. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Definitely. And that 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 DWAC MIA. I, I was. Uh, that's you know that's another one. I'm I'm interested, especially. Uh, I'm wanting to watch what it does here the rest of the after hours and into the pre market. Because my thoughts are, if if it continues uh, this slight drop, um, I'm really thinking if it if it goes down and say it drops down to around that seven seventy nine area there, um, maybe seventy eight seventy nine ish, uh, mid seventy nine ish, the lowest maybe the highest around eighty. But I think if it if it stays right around that level between you know mid 78s to around that 80 level that uh, it'll have a uh, it'll be prime for another run tomorrow. Now, I'm not saying it'll be able to have another 20 percent uh, gain throughout the day. I don't think it can continue doing that every day. But up against the market, you know, and again, exactly. I was, my, my internet was shady where I was at today, and you know, I was just kind of checking in on stuff, but just seeing how the market was. And how Babig and mm -hmm. uh, and Dwack and stuff ran. It's like, uh, man, that's uh, that that was that was reminiscent of of certain isolated times where GameStop and AMC ran like that. You know what I mean? Yep. Opposite the market. Um, exactly. So I don't I don't know I don't know where it's going. Like I said, I was a little bit out of the loop today. I uh, <laughs> what I was doing was I was reading articles because they were loading. That's how I found that article I sent you guys, the tinfoil oh, yeah. hat kind of one, mm -hmm. because I was just reading whatever I could get to load on my phone at that point. You know? <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like wait a minute. I'm like, and well, what it was was I seen something about that in a magazine. You know, what I mean, they had a you know typical doctor's office magazine type stuff, and uh, yeah. and I seen that, and I'm like, let me Google this real quick, and then that article came up. And immediately I'm like, wow, coincidence or not? And, you know, <laughs> I looked into it a little bit more. You know, there's only like a little bit over 100,000 people that live there. But it's just interesting, the timing. You know what I mean? That it is. Uh, they announced that they're going to follow Venezuela. And they pretty much said they were going to follow Venezuela the exact same way, the exact blueprint. And then three days later, they have an underwater <laughs> volcano. Underwater <laughs> volcano. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Well, and and some interesting stuff about how they're trying to use some volcanic power to uh, to mine Bitcoin over there or something. So, oh some... yeah, that's right. So so okay. So I know what you're talking about. I, I did see something along those lines. It, it was um, it, yeah, they're building building like a mining town at the base of pretty much a, a, a volcano. And it's um, because of something to do with that thermal heat or something like that. I mean, it's going it's going to, in essence, provide the energy if they they've got however they've got it set up in my they said because of doing it in that location that it almost pretty much be free power to do it because they can have thermal thermal energy supply. Somehow they're they're tapping into the volcano, the therm the thermal heat I guess from the volcano. But now and, is uh, that still doable after what just happened? No, I don't think that was Oh yeah, good question. Was I mean, that there at Tonga though or was that at the El Salvador one? See, I don't know if well, that see, was Okay, that okay, the El Salvador one, that may be where they're trying it. So that was what Tonga was trying to do. You know what I mean? And like I said, that's what was coming out just before you know i mean the 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 president or whatever they're called over there 
put out a bunch of this stuff in a tweet about what they're going to do, how they're moving forward. Bitcoin's going to be their official currency by the end of the year. And then two days later, you know, <laughs> an underwater volcano. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> two days later, an underwater volcano. Like I said, I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying. <laughs> That's right. I'm not saying. I'm just saying. Coincidence? I mean, weird things are happening all over. We got Russian rockets. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, Lindsay and Bulldog, like, luckily that thing didn't work, you know, end out as bad as it, I guess it, you know, it it could have been. You know what I mean? We could have had tsunamis hitting land everywhere and it doesn't seem like it did, uh, did as much damage as, you know, it, it could have, you know, once, you know, we heard. That Lindsay and Bulldog kind of felt it up there. I'm like, wow, you know. And then I'm looking at it where it's on a map. I'm like, wow, if they felt it all the way over there, like, there's gonna be some destruction. Yeah, that that that, that a whole lot. That's they, whew, man. It's oh, scary. Junk Savvy reached her monthly goal today and made Whoa. up for some bonuses. Like, oh man, good stuff, Junk Savvy. Junk Savvy, way to go. Let's double it now. The rest 11. of the month. Let's Woo! double it. And Mexican right. sailor back, if you were blindfolded and wore a cape backwards while Porky Piggin, would you still be Porky Piggin? Mm. That's a good question. I'll get back to you on that one. Yeah. You know, Mexican silverback, I think maybe you still technically would be because you got to think with Porky Pig, you know, the pigs had the tail and the pig tail. So, I mean... In essence, your tail would still be showing. You know what I mean? Even though, yeah. Technically, technically, I mean your your tail end would still be showing. So you'd still be kind of big in it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Benny El Dorado, definitely some Doctor Evil vibes with the underground volcano. Right. Oh wow, Junk Savvy lived through Mount St. Helens. That's crazy. Oh, that man. is crazy, Junk Savvy. Yeah, I can't. Uh, I can't imagine being anywhere. Could have grown up anywhere near there when that thing went off. My goodness, I mean, anywhere by anywhere near. I mean, like any of the states surrounding or anything. <laughs> it had to be crazy, uh, you know, all around that area because I know it. They talked about it creating that Mount St. Helens ash. I mean, it, uh, it it made its way all the way around the world, man. Oh, General Venom something? with another question. I'm going to say rewalk. My fourth largest position in my portfolio was on the FOMO mm-hmm. list for after hours. It's a four letter ticker. Guess which one? Yeah, I'm going to say rewalk. Going with rewalk there. Let's see. Oh, it's on his. Uh... Is it rewalk or is he on Vine? Is he a Vine lover? Because Vine, Vine's kicking some butt again, too, here. I'm sure he enjoys a fine wine on an occasion. Fine well. wine, vine, yeah, up twenty four percent now. Vine up to six dollars and ninety five cents. Why? Only that vine just keeps doing the same thing over and over again, man. <laughs> oh, okay, it just oh, dropped off just about a minute dropped ago. Off. Ah. Was tricking us, General Venom. I thought you were into those fake appendages. That rewalk does have some cool futuristic stuff. <laughs> I know data DBV tech play studios incorporated that just sounds fun what are you doing in the studios playing play studios incorporated <laughs> yeah good times I like that just because it's names good times good times up 7.78 percent way to go good times good time should always be up <laughs> right it's dynamite exactly. it's always a good time <laughs> what the dog doing Sophie doing well here in the after hours as well Selfie running, gosh, be big still, still tearing it up, loving that. Now, now, uh, now, this will be uh, one of those times. Will I wake up in the morning and and uh, and and kick myself in the butt for uh, not holding off for one extra day on that uh, be big call option? I will find out. You know, the bad thing is we're seeing all this movement here. But that does not mean it's going to be able to hold that throughout the entire. Well, that's after- that's what I was going to say. I was going to say, okay, the the three that are kind of big movers you know in here to DWAC, fun and be big right now yeah do we see them on the top losers list tomorrow any any three of them all three of them none of them i know right very very good question man i you know from a pers- 
percentage uh, from you know a percentage standpoint, that would not surprise me at all. Um, it, I, I'm not saying it would be. I'm not saying we're gonna take a huge dump. I'm just saying. You know, for some of these lower ones, let's see. We're seeing B big just running like crazy. I mean, honestly, MIA, it, it could shed if it keeps this up, and let's say tomorrow, it, it could shed eighty cents to a dollar off its price, and that would be a huge, huge drop. You know what I mean? But still, but still, not not a huge drop compared to overall over the past full days of running. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Oh, you yeah. know what I'm saying there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, so like I could see it taking a tumble tomorrow, but still, still even after a tumble being up over what it was uh, when it opened today. So, I, but I don't know. That's a very good question, man. That's what I like to do lots of times too. And, and I like to look at that when I'm potentially looking into options sometimes, you know, seeing uh, I, I go through and, hey, why did this run like crazy today? Um, man, there wasn't any news with it. Well, there wasn't any news. You know what's going on with it? Well, it's just uh, you know, it, it just uh, it was it was doing decent and, and it just uh, it pumped today. Well, there's a good possibility if there wasn't any news accompanying it that it might just drop back down again. So keep an eye on it. And yeah, I know that, I have uh, I have that, played some that puts volume like that. on BBIG is crazy. It's unreal, man. Two hundred eighty-three million, especially compared to its average. God what two uh what's its average 2.3 million i think is the uh average on it or, or 20 uh, 90 day i think it was 20 23 million yeah so it's uh, uh my goodness and <laughs> 283 god mm -mm -mm. today is it 500 and this is really on nothing yeah. today you know what i mean this isn't yeah. i know there's news to come i know people are, are still waiting on that dividend and things like that but this is yeah that's the thing <laughs> just just like general venom says yeah it, it's the news is imminent but it's still not it but it, it's imminent uh general but it's not there yet that's what's you know what i mean that's that's the crazy thing it, it's just uh um it, again are are we uh are we all buying the rumor and and uh, are we going to be selling the news then <laughs> are are we under uh are we running into that situation here um, I know on SINs, I have a feeling that'll get that way as we get closer to that FDA approval. Um, Southern Red was asking earlier in my, she said, $50 in my hand right now and I've, I've got to uh, pick a stock, you know. Um, well, so of course we ask her, you know, well, what are you talking about? Are we look, looking at a long-term investment with this $50? Or are you just trying to, uh, you know, flip it or, or what are you trying to do? But uh, junk savvy, I'd forgot. I'd forgotten all about sins for whatever reason. Even though I mean I'm holding it, but I just I didn't even think about it in my head. And junk savvy said, "Hey, there's a stock that we know is low right now, but we know you know we're about 95% confident on the good news from the FDA approval coming out very very soon. You know what I mean? So it, it's um that's that could be a potential uh, great play for somebody who's just looking to. Uh, uh, jump into a, a new play on something that should should all things uh, go well and what it's sounding like we should have a, a nice nice run up as as it gets closer to that I, but I think it's going to take we're going to have to hear that definite date am I they're yeah. going to have to come out and, and that's say good. that's going to be where I, I don't know if there's going to be another another sign before it just happens you know what I mean I don't know if they're going to come out and say, hey, it's, we're going to get it next week. I think that CEO saying a couple of weeks ago, he said on the 5th, you know, it's coming in the next, uh, we expect it in the next few weeks. I think that's probably as close to an actual date as we get. Yeah. So that's where it's going to be. I think it's going to hit. We're going to see it come probably at 4 a.m. We'll see a huge spike right then. And that's probably where i'm looking to sell some and then see where it goes you know yeah. because it's been uh there's been a lot of people waiting for it you know what i mean so i think there's going to be a big sell-off as soon as it gets you know but at the same time uh it's an fda approval it's got to go up right that's right that's right it's got to go up right oh junk savvy i win you win bro always appreciate your support
support, no push ups. Super chat. <laughs> Chuck Savvy. <laughs> I win, you win. Oh, that's right. We all win here. I any one of us wins in the fam. We all win. We all win. Oh, Chuck Savvy, thank you. Going easy so on you. <laughs> she is, man. Not having me do the uh, push ups this time around. She, she let me off easy. Well, Junk Savvy, you know what, then then what'll happen is as soon as I get on Thursday, uh, I will immediately um, come through come through with uh, 20 push-ups immediately as soon as I get on Thursday. So it'll be it'll be making up for uh for today, since you said none none are needed. <laughs> so, um oh and we had somebody uh, we missed that. Uh, MIA, who was it? Travis Papa. What platform are you trading on? So Travis, I personally use Weeble. Um, I still use Robinhood on my options. I, if in hindsight, like if I was just starting trading, I would not use them whatsoever. And I would only be on Weeble and Moomoo. Um, but, uh, yeah, I recommend, I recommend Weeble gives you any platform that's going to give you after hours trading all the way till 8 PM and also give you that pre-market action. Um, to me is something you want to look for. That's why I like Weeble. Um, and Moomoo also allows that. Um, I'm not uh, as big on that. Am I to use that eToro? I'm not as big of a eToro user, so I don't no, know. No, I only use uh, Weeble, and then I've got my GameStop and eTrade, and I, I use that here and there, but mainly just Weeble. Just Weeble. Yeah, that's that's. I'd I'd rec. Yeah, I definitely recommend that one. And you can follow our link, um, Travis. If you follow the link there in the chat for uh, Weeble, then you can get some free stocks um as well uh who know the good possibility man to be honest they're probably going to be smaller stocks but you never know there are people that luck out and get those really nice stocks uh for their free stocks so it, you just never know there was hey there were people that was getting amc as their free stock on weeble back when amc was three dollars a share just saying um that's true <laughs> look at them now you know what i mean so uh that, that's that's uh, i think you you uh it's well worth it it's well worth it and uh, again, Junk Savvy, thank you again so, so much. She said she didn't want to kill me. <laughs> she said, I can't kill him. I can't kill him here. She's giving me a little bit of her break. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. <laughs> oh, and there's Gamma Chatter out there on it as well. So there we go, MIA. It's starting to uh, spread out on B Big here and how high it can go. And, uh, and, and Squeeze plays on it. Now, I'm, I'm really interested. So. So let's say B Big keeps uh, making its little push here in the after hours and continues rocking and rolling, right? So right yeah. now it's at what five seventy nine, uh, five five seventy nine, five eighty ish. So let's say it continues this on here in the after hours. Are you all thinking? Are we thinking in the pre market it's going to continue that run, and then are we going to have a uh, quick sell off? Are we going to have a massive amount of tendy taking come uh, open? Or is this going to stop here in the after hours and then pre-market, we're going to start having some people pulling their tendies out. That's what mm -hmm. I'm wondering. I'm wondering, I'm wondering, I get, I think my, my bigger thing here is not as much on the after hours, the rest of the evening. What's it going to do pre-market and then write it open? Are we expecting a quick sell off and then a rocket, which is kind of to an extent, what it did today, except it, it was just drug out over a longer period of time. But I'm just, I'm, I'm wondering. Uh, Southern Red did put that 50 on sins. All right, Southern Red. Congratulations. I think you, uh, I think that's me personally. I like that play, Southern Red. I think there's great news coming out for sins uh, in the future, the very near future at that. Uh, we're just waiting on that actual date of release, which should be coming pretty soon. So... Yeah, I don't know though, MA. I'm I'm interested in seeing what it does there in the uh right off in the morning there. Pre-market and then opening. Uh what is that B big gonna do? I guess a big part's gonna be what the market's doing. Yeah, that's you true. Know, too. If, if the market has another down day, can these stocks still go against the, you know? Right fight the uh fight the overall environment and i was talking with snap about that earlier that's um i'm wondering too as the earnings reports come out and how much of an effect if it's having to fight against uh fight against you know pretty much a red market 
um, how much will these uh, the earnings reports uh, help as much uh, you know compared to in the past? You, I mean, you got to think, MIA. We've seen it to where it, if those market reports have come out and it's actually been like really nice, like they they beat their estimates by a significant amount, and we've seen some major running from those companies. But when it's got the rest of the market fighting against it, if it's an overall you know red day or red week for that matter. Um, I'm wondering how much those EPSs can can affect it. You know what I mean? Because we've seen some crazy effects when it's a good market. But my my thing is is and also if the earnings are bad, does that just absolutely tank somebody right now? Because we're already kind of in a uh, you know a tough market. You know what I mean? If it is bad earnings, is that going to just completely completely just? <laughs> I mean, is that going to be a straight like? sledgehammer to the stock you know what i mean yeah um i, I man it, it's uh th there'll be some newer things because see i haven't been i haven't been trading long enough to like keep up with earning reports uh with market conditions like paying attention to okay the market right now is down and now i'm watching people's earnings reports and seeing how it affects them I, i've usually been when I since I've been paying attention to earnings reports, it's been a pretty decent market. So I haven't really had I I, I wasn't this time last year. You know, I was trading, but I wasn't I was just getting into it more. I, I wasn't I wasn't really paying too much attention to uh, earnings reports. I was looking more at volume and just uh, what sentiment was on it. And you know what I mean. So it's yeah. now that I've learned a little more, I go more into numbers. I die, I try to do more uh, DD into certain companies I, I now i'm in like you know now my eyes are really open so it's like my eyes are open and i'm just really interested in seeing what affects what how that's going to be related and uh i'm i'm, I'm looking forward to it man it, it might it might be uh no matter what happens in the market i'm, I'm looking forward to expanding my uh knowledge and hoping hoping uh you know it's new experiences brother it's new experiences so yeah, exactly Cool, cool. Yep, yep, yep. That is good deal. Let's see here. Are you um? Yeah, I'm gonna put my lovely face on there for a minute, are, brother. <laughs> all right, all right. Good, good, good. That's what I like to hear. I believe you are. Uh, your lovely face is. Uh, I think they are able to uh, see you now. Y'all see that in my head? That lovely, lovely. I kept the BBIG up for him. Or tried to, anyways. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, they had the BBIG. You want to... Oh, okay. Sorry about that. There we go. Oh, they want to see you. There we go. There he is. There he is. There's the man. It is so weird seeing you here in the evening. I got I to be honest. I feel it's, a little uh, weird. It, it, it's, <laughs> it's just different. It's like it's the same, but it's different, you know? Because, I mean, it, it's... Uh, <laughs> it's just it, it just seems off it just seems it's like is that mia <laughs> that is MIA, right MIA, right <laughs> and rocking that darth vader shirt by mind you oh yeah absolutely awesome i mm. love it <laughs> sometimes you gotta go to the dark side man that's right that's right cool 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 well brother um if you're good man it is uh six o'clock i'm gonna um uh, hang out with the boys a little bit um, before uh, the poker night starts. So um, see, uh, get For a little sure, uh, quick dinner in with the fam here and the kiddos. So see how their NTI went today, homeschooling. Hopefully this is the last week of that. So they're yeah. uh, they're they're about to run out of their days for it anyway. So they ain't gonna have no choice. They gonna have to go back. <laughs> You're gonna have to. <laughs> um, which uh, I'm like, whoo! All right. <laughs> thank you <laughs> take them back thank you yep <laughs> um it, it it adds a different stuff but it, it you know that's one of those things i i have loved uh on a serious note i mean i, I love having the boys here too it, it it is great um but at the same time i i hate it for them because as much as 
as much as they want to complain about school, they have their friends at school and they love oh, the yeah. of school, you know, and it, it's uh, being stuck here at home, you know, it kind of stinks. So hopefully they'll be back in uh, the classroom next week and can get their uh, friends. They, they, it, it, you just don't have, uh, when they come home from that it, too, it's, they're a little bit more worn out than um, when it's just having school here at home, you know, the oh, energy yeah. level just continues to stay to the max. And it's like, Oh my goodness, <laughs> calm down. <laughs> And it's like, no, yep. there's no calming down. What is this calming down? <laughs> so, yep. Uh, all right, brother. Well, um, in that case, my man, I will uh, let you go and let you uh, um, uh, enjoy the rest of the after hours, man. And uh, hanging out with the uh, fam, the evening fam now. Yeah, I like uh, it. I, I do, too. I do, too. It is, uh, it is cool. I will hop on the other side and be watching you. And uh, am I, is that your secret weapon, pork? <laughs> pork and, oh, my God. <laughs> well, you have fun, uh, MIA, with all the porky pig and questions. Especially I will. Let's get silver back. <laughs> I will. I'll, uh, we'll take it one question at a time here. <laughs> awesome, brother. All right, man. Well, I will, uh, I will talk at you later. And uh, fam, thank you all so much for hanging out uh, with me on the mic and uh, El Snap earlier and Birdie Hunter. And now you've got the amazing MIA. Uh, Matt's Market, if you were out there. Matt's Market, Cal Fortune, D-Grade, Doors R Us, Gone Postal, and Junk Savvy. Farewell and happy trails. Until the next time, I will be back on the mic um, on Thursday. So uh, enjoy MIA. And tomorrow, enjoy. You're going to have none of your business in MIA and Odie Fro. And I think you got Gone Postal tonight after MIA. And you got Richard a Carver on Friday. Dude, this is a oh, great yeah. week, MIA. This is a great week. We got everybody on. I can't wait. So, Absolutely. Flipping amazing. All right, brother. Well, you go uh, have a great evening, my friend. And uh, make sure you pass on our, uh, our our love to everybody. And um, For sure. we, will, uh, we will chat with you later, my man. Have a good one. Much love and respect as always, brother. Right back at you, my man. And thank you for uh, sticking around and stepping up and helping out as always, man. Much appreciated. No problem, brother. All right, everybody. Peace out. See y'all later. All right, guys, I don't usually get to say this, but give that man some love. I'm usually only after the uh, the birdie hunter. So show my brother from another mother, my Care Bear cousin, all that good stuff. You know him. You love him. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Jen Matt. Jen Matt, happy belated birthday. I'm so sorry I uh, missed your birthday. Not that I missed it, but that I wasn't around. Uh, Raiders Grief Counselor is not here, Caesar C. Everybody knows we got robbed in that game. If you watched it, you know it just fuels the fire. You know what I mean? The NFL are like the hedgies, if you're a football fan. They shorted the Raiders, and then they, uh, they had the referees do their dirty work. It happens. Either way, we'll be back next year. <laughs> uh, Cassie, Cassie, you are not dreaming. It is uh, 6.07 p.m. You got afternoon MIA today. I had something uh, come up this morning, a family matter. And my man, L Snap stepped right in for me and uh i'm just returning the favor for him that's all oh we got odie fro out there what's up odie fro my brother uh i'm looking forward to your game this week odie fro the bills and the chiefs rematch <laughs> morning hide cheers my friend I cannot find any coffee where I was this morning, Hyde. I was getting very upset. I had to settle for a Red Bull. What's that Babig doing? Oh, yeah. Back up at 587. 590. 591 now for BBIG. Is it going to crack this $6 mark? I'm absolutely loving seeing my BBIG in the green. E break kid, what's up, E break kid? Tana May, Kieran, Kieran, uh, I added you on uh, Call of Duty. I didn't that night because I fell asleep, but 
I did add you on there, brother. Caesar C says, I put one K bull coins on Josh Allen. Hmm. Oh, that's the oldest trick in the book, Benny. Learn the best trick for gravy and stew on YouTube. Metal strainer and a whisk to stir in flour and avoid the clumps. Yep. I learned that from an old school chef that I used to do some catering gigs with. So BBIG at 590. What else are we looking at? What do we look at in the after hours, guys? Vine. Vine moving. Any new news on this? No, but up 24% in the aftermarket, 694 for Vine. Oh, SoFi receives regulatory approval to become a national bank. I guess that's good. See what that's uh, up 14% on that news. D Weezy, D Wax starting to go up. Oh yeah, back at eighty-four seventy-four. Now in the after hours for D Wack. So how did everybody do today? Uh, who made some money? What did you guys buy? What did you guys sell? What did I miss? I feel like a kid that missed a day at school trying to catch up. <laughs> let me know anybody that's uh not usually around in the morning welcome to bulldog trading in the after hours hey yeah i don't know you think uh you think ryan Tannehill's a super bowl quarterback benny I mean, he's he's proved people wrong all year, you know, since uh, since uh, Derrick Henry went down. Oh, nice! So sold half uh, at five for some tendies, Taname. Good stuff. Still got eighteen left. Beautiful. Let's go to the moon. Junk Savvy unloaded the Relay bags and made some tendies. Nice, nice. Uh, so it got up over, what were you in at, 9.10 or 9.30? Was it 9.30 on Relay? And maybe Naomi was 9.85. How high did that Relay get today? Let me look at it. Ooh, got all the way up to 989. <laughs> uh, I don't know, Caesar. I was pretty impressed. They they shut the Cowboys down and they I thought they looked pretty good, those Niners. I think Debo's the most talented dude on the field pretty much at all times. And as long as the Niners keep uh, get finding, you know, kind of cool ways, whether it's just using them as a running back, whether it's some trickery, uh, they get the ball in the playmaker's hands. Hey, Crazy Carl. Remember when I told you not to take down the big? I have 3,000 shares at 230. I'm waiting for it to go to six bucks. Uh, Crazy Carl, I am sorry if I if I did take it down at that point. Um, I do remember the name Crazy Carl. 
And I've been in BBIG for a long time, so I probably would have agreed with you, hopefully, Crazy Carl, but I am not in at a nice 230 average like that, so I want to see this thing go to the moon for you. $6, we almost hit that earlier. I believe it got to $5.99. Not sure if it crossed 6 Oh, five ninety nine high in the after hours. Almost there. I'm looking forward to push right through it. We're at five ninety one right now. Yeah, I think a lot of people will uh, will probably be doing that poke blaze again. I think uh, as this BBIG thing plays out, as DWAC uh, continues to run, I think people will uh, probably take advantage of these AMC and GameStop prices. Hey, Crazy Carol, coming in with that su 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 super dip BBG to six dollar chat. Super chat. Thank you so much for that, Crazy Carol. And I want to see this BBIG get to six in the next. Let's say 15 minutes. It's 6.15. Let's get there by 6.30. Crazy day, Saucy. How'd you do today, uh, Fredo? I missed, uh, I missed most of the day, my friend. I hope you had a, a great green day. As I do for all of you. Yeah, Matt, I will be at poker tonight. As soon as I get off of here. Mm -hmm. General Venom says, I'll buy it at six bucks because I'm riding it to 25 or 35 to 40. I like that, General Venom. Hanging around this 590 mark for BBIG. Oh, that's great to hear, Junk Savvy. Great to hear. Incredible how many pulled green out of the red today. Trader Fam got game. That's what I'm talking about. Only thing red in your account's AMC, Saucy. Uh, yeah, AMC's red in my account now. GameStop still holding some green, but oh, nice, nice, Fredo had some cash, bought lots of dips. Yeah, I was seeing lots of red. Like I was saying, I wasn't uh. I wasn't getting any kind of good service where I was at, so I was just watching what I could. And, uh, you know, outside of the, the things that you guys, BBIG and stuff, uh, didn't look, didn't look good for the market in a whole. Rely making another little run after hours here up 5%. So well played, Junk Savvy, getting out of that and uh, being able to make some tendies off of it. Oh, bro, Santo, I sold BBIG for a dollar profit. Why did I sell? Uh, better than selling for a dollar loss, bro, Santo. You know what I mean? I hate to church it up that much because I know it sucks, man. You know what I mean? 
but uh hey thank you nufo <laughs> right back at you brother oh 6100 decliners so what does that go up against maybe 15 to 2000 uh advancers let me see if i can see that number that is uh that's a pretty red day i mean when you got the nasdaq finishing down over two and a half percent s p 500 finished down 1.77 percent dow jones finished down one and a half percent just about 1,545. My assumptions were almost correct, Andre. <laughs> that was off the cuff. I told you, it's been a long day. There's been a lot of uh, snow blowing and shoveling going on the last two days. But it seems like the storms are all over and we're in the clear now. Hope to see SoFi open at 15. I'm hoping for it too, Saucy Fredo. You have a great night, my friend. And I will uh, definitely be seeing you in the morning. It's going to be a great Wacky Wild Wednesday at Bulldog Trading tomorrow. Be sure to tune in, folks. Thank you, Andre. <laughs> Funky Mank. What's up, Funky Mank? Dropping that SoFi news. SoFi approved to be a uh, national bank, right? Is the uh, official, would be the official wording. Is that what we're looking at? So, SoFi Technologies, the digital personal finance company today announced that the Office of the Comptroller of the Currency, otherwise known as the OCC, and the Federal Reserve have approved its applications to become a bank holding company through its proposed acquisition of Golden Pacific Bank Corp and operate its bank subsidiary as SoFi Bank National Association. SoFi expects the acquisition to close in February, subject to completion or waiver of the remaining customary closing conditions. So that is the news on SoFi. Up 18% now, 17.5% at 14.15, running off that news. Oh yeah, we got like uh we got like two feet in a matter of like maybe six or seven hours um late Sunday night or early Monday morning. Hey Cosmo, what's up Cosmo? Great to see you, great to see you. Crazy Carol needs S E V to go back up. Um, uh, what is that SEV? That is, uh, sorry, getting some lag here. Okay, so that was the uh, EV IPO. That's the solar one, right? It's probably going to take some time for that to develop, that SEV. <laughs> uh... Benny Eldorado asking if you guys handle Patriots fans as well. The Patriots got their doors blown off. Bills came out and pitched a perfect game on them. Uh,
I'll tell you what, though, Crazy Carol, you're up uh, one and a quarter percent in the after hours with SEV. Sitting at 721. This thing since the IPO, though, has just steadily gone down. Like it's just a straight kind of a free fall. All right, guys, uh, I gotta go do something real quick. I'll be right back with you in just a quick second.
All right, guys. Sorry about that. What did I miss? Anything good? What we got going on? I see some football chat in there. Got a heist going on. Get some of the creepers coming out. Corinne, GTA. Cosmo, I already said what's up to you, but what's up again, Cosmo? Doors are Russ. My man Amir. Low key. Hello. Oh, I creep. Yeah. <laughs> I come out on the heist show. What's, What's up, going buddy? On? How you doing, brother? I'm doing. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm looking at cheese ball face of yours right now. Hey, I hear that snappy tan voice. How can you not smile? <laughs> <laughs> come on. <laughs> and thank uh, you. Thank you, my brother, for... Uh, Hey, you know, no thanks needed. No thanks needed. You know, I appreciate it. Absolutely. Yeah. Gen Matt, halftime show. Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, Eminem, Kedrick Lamar, and Mary J. Blige. But John Gruden's emails were a bad look for the NFL. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. I don't know. <laughs> wow. Wow. Hey. Shots across the bow. Uh, About the only talent that I would like to see is Mary J. Blige. Yes. And that's because she has pipes. She can sing. You know? Yes. And not that all those other people aren't talented and I love their music and, and stuff like that, but I want to see a performance. I want to see instruments being played and not that that won't happen they always have some some kind of band that doesn't get the credit for for these kind of like solo musicians you know what i mean but the last good halftime show i remember was friggin prince when it was raining and i swear to god that dude did, was not getting wet right and he was not covered the other people up there were getting wet but prince it was just bouncing off of him <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, I seen one of my friends really question their sexuality that day. They were uh, falling for Prince. <laughs> I, I've seen uh, Prince perform several times. Uh, I saw them. I saw him uh, and Sheila E. on the Purple Rain tour at Cobol Hall up in Detroit. And, nice. Yeah, and uh, my stepsister and I we're probably one of the few white people there. And it was amazing. Had such an amazing time there. I mean, it, it, it was, it was, everyone was there to have a good time, you know? And, and it was amazing. And the only thing that disappointed me about that tour was that it was the purple rain tour. And that's what you got. You got purple rain. And that was pretty much it. You didn't get, you know, any of his old stuff. You didn't get any of when he was kind of like punkish. That's straight get front and back. Well, yeah, I mean, it was basically the soundtrack to, you know, uh, Purple Rain. But then now you go back, uh, now you look at his stuff and it's like you look at his uh, hits and and the songs. It He could do a three-hour concert, you know, and every night oh yeah you know and and play and not even play all of his songs because he would funk them up so much later on in the career you know and a lot of people don't understand what a great musician he was a lot of people just think of him as just like an image or just like you know a lot of people real deal yeah, he would, would tell you that he was just a singer. And it's like, no, a lot of people, he's one of the best guitarists of all time. And a lot of people's player, minds, drummer, you know what I mean? Keyboard. I mean, every yeah. instrument on his albums, he played, you know. Uh, not that he played them all every recording, but that that guy could play. Have, have no question in your mind. He was a savant. So Jen Matt's asking... 
what would your four be? Bruno Mars was pretty good, my lady. Uh, I will say that. But it was still more, and I guess that's part of it. I guess I like music more than performance, more than just like dance pieces and stuff. I want some, I want some meat. I mean, this is better than when they rolled out. Uh, there was like three, maybe five, three to five years in the NFL when it was like geriatric Super Bowl. It was like, let's bring out Aerosmith for the, it's like, no, let's not. <laughs> yeah. Super you know Bowl, what I mean? <laughs> Super Bowl 31. I worked that show. I did. I was on the audio crew for that and it was the beach boys and it was, um, you know, Motown hits. So they had all of these old Motown uh, uh, Kate, Kate, Martha Vandella, uh, Martha Reeves. I'm sorry, Martha Reeves and the Vandellas. They were there. The Beach Boys were there. A uh, bunch of others. Then the following year, it was great because um, they had. That was the year that uh, Stevie Wonder was there and uh, Miami Sound Machine. Uh, what's her name? Gloria uh, Estefan. Gloria Estefan, and, and you know there, there was a whole lot of talent. And it was it incorporated the whole thing, and and but I don't remember any political stuff going on. You know what I mean? It was about yeah. the show. It was yeah. about the show, and and then it became shock value with um, <clears throat> shock value with wardrobe Justin malfunction and Janet Jackson. Yeah, the wardrobe stuff, and and you know, and then it was I don't know what the Beyonce Jay Z thing was uh, that that one year i don't yeah there was some weird stuff going on yeah, there some weird stuff man. <laughs> bring back a stage and some rock and roll and you know yeah i mean i'm not gonna lie it's usually that i'm not i i don't usually watch it because i usually watch the game so like that 15 minutes i'm stretching i'm doing this i'm going to the bathroom doing you know doing whatever i gotta do right well, so. you know, another thing too, I mean, not all the times, but I would say a good majority of the times, the entertainment was directed to the a whole bunch of different people. And it just seems lately that the halftime shows are geared towards one, one group of people, one generation, you know, and yeah. it's like, for me, I, I like Eminem, I like Dr. Dre. You know, don't get me wrong. I uh, grew up in that, but it, as a as a 54 year old, I can appreciate. It, but that's not necessarily one I think is going to be the best. Well, in the and what and, 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 and we're showing the world their know? best stuff. It has to be a watered down version of that because it's got to be their politically correct stuff. You know what I mean? So it's going to only be some mainstream like. Eminem's best stuff, Dr. Dre's best stuff. You couldn't play in a Super Bowl. You know what I mean? You couldn't right. play none of that. But they're right. gonna put some watered down version of it out. And then there's well, then you know the Doors. Doors were asked to change the lyrics to "Light My Fire." You know, um, he didn't. Morrison didn't because he thought that was a sellout. You know. Yeah, Mar Morrison it. never got paid a billion dollars for making That's headphones true. either. That's true. <laughs> That's true. And yeah, there's some truth to that. I mean, Dr. Dre sold out a long time ago. I'll reference you uh, to a whole Easy E album that'll tell you about it. <laughs> <laughs> that is called Real MF and G's. For anybody interested, that is Easy E Real MF and G's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'd love to see Shaka Khan. Are you kidding me, Jen Matt? And she can still sing. Oh, yeah. I'd love to see a whole ensemble of like a Shaka Khan. I mean, if we're talking, if we're talking just being able to assemble anybody, are we talking people that we would, that, that would physically be able to perform in, say, 2023? Because you got to, I mean, if we're just talking, let's put a dream lineup together. You're talking one thing. If you're talking no. a dream lineup that's available Current. in 2020. Okay, so that's. Uh, I'd like to see Daryl Hall involved somehow. Yeah. Just Maybe because. Now. Yeah, and if you've watched, you know what I mean? His, uh, I don't know why I can never remember the name of it. 
because I just watch it. And uh, what is it? Hall's house, Hall's garage, whatever. Hall's yes, his house. Yeah. Like the the guy is just so dang talented. Like you know what I mean, and just meshes. Like I would just love to see like you know five or six well known musicians, and then sprinkle you know maybe like a beyonce on top of that or you know what i mean like a a mary j blige like on top of a, a really good band maybe bring some some travis barker in there you know i don't know i'd like to see like you said it, it does feel like it's only like at a time when it was like the rolling stones did the one year you're just targeting a, one generation you know what i mean with certain things like, I don't know how, like, of course, I like Dr. Dre, I like Eminem, I grew up on them, but I don't know how much they transvert, I don't know how much their music is transgenerational, you know what I mean? It doesn't, uh, Right. I'd like to see more of that, I'd like to see, you know, put Dave Grohl out there with any musicians and watch magic happen. Nufo says, deep down, we all want an Island Boy halftime show. Island Boy? We kind of do because we watch, you know, we watch train wrecks more than something that's really good. <laughs> if it's really good, the talk the next day is like, yeah, did you see it? It was good. Okay, you move on. If it's terrible, the conversation is at least a good, you know, three, four minutes longer. <laughs> Bulldog Trading's coming in saying, what's going on here? What's going on? Yeah. <laughs> Put another quarter in, Bulldog. We'll tell you more. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, DWAC. 85, 16 now, up 20%. That was kind of interesting to watch this morning. People were... Uh, didn't know which way that was going to go at first. Super chat. <laughs> Uh, thank um, you for that. Super, 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 super chat. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, another one. Here we go. Super chat. Super chat. Jen Matt says it's too fitty to ride this ride, Bulldog. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> this is great. Super Outside the supermarket when I was a kid, my mom would give me at least, or exactly one quarter to ride one of those things. Yeah. <laughs> Super chat. I think someone uh, put their phone back in their pocket. It just keeps hitting as they're walking. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Super chat. Dance, tendies, dance, ten that's old school. Yeah, it is. <laughs> hey. <clears throat> okay, so what uh, was uh, what was this DWAC run up like? Because I missed most of it this morning. Uh, did it just pop? Did it just? Uh, was there signs of it? Was it just just steady going up? Kind of jumped. It jumped up, and then it kind of was going um, sideways for a while, and then just before I got up. Um, Let's see. Um, at one, just after one, I got off the air, and um, Adam E was covering it, and he he was just. I heard it. All I heard was him just cheerleading the whole time, not stop, <laughs> just going on and on and on. And I'm just like, what is going on? And it was. I think he was kind of like the catalyst for it, man. I, it's like it just funneled in right to him. You know, and, and you can do that. Yeah. that. It was amazing. And it got up to uh, 
What was the the high right now? It's at eighty five seventeen, but I let me see. I got to an all time high of like I want to say that was like either eighty three or eighty six. So we're either above that now or just below it. So DWAC is looking good. Um, let's see what oh, happens it broke, tomorrow. It broke, yeah, it broke ninety. It hit ninety twenty two. Ninety twenty two. Okay. 90, Wow. Yeah, I see uh, a lot of people made some uh, BBIG money today. Yeah, my BB, I had some BBIG that was slightly in the red that's now slightly in the green. So, yeah, I, I like had that. A bag. I had a bag for BBIG for a long time. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely come up today. Do we think that, that this continues? I mean, it's uh, and and what was the thoughts with the way the market was with these runners today? You know, it looking at it like when I first came on, it was a lot of red. I mean, there was like maybe two, two or three things that were green. DWAC was one of them. Um, Prague was for a little bit. Uh, BBIG was and then wasn't. Then it was Relay was uh doing really good for a while uh but ended up being down yeah it was it was quite the volatile day yeah, i see that yeah well i like it seems like uh like it was interesting and the 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 best part was i look at you know i was looking at at just kind of how the market was doing and mm -hmm. seeing it down and i was expecting to get back to uh a lot of people you know not doing the best today and instead it seems like a lot of people made some money on this red day today not just like average down or this or that but actually made some money a lot of people were in on the oh, things yeah. that did run mm -hmm. uh so um bulldog is saying bbig has some type of thing going on it has a type of crypto stock dividend. Maybe you you own 10 shares of BBIG and get one share of a crypto stock. Don't have the full details yet, but he did say BBIG is known for multi-day runs. That's true. Um, I, I know a lot of people who are options guys who were, you know, talking excitedly today about the money that they were, they were in the money and, and make attendees and for the options uh people playing bbig and uh some other ones they were they were they were cashing in they liked it liked it a lot vines running um made the fomo list i see i heard someone talking about it earlier but it wasn't on the list at all today it's up 23 percent now yeah i'm looking for any new news on that tide uh spin-off dividend with BBIG. Excuse me. Uh, let's see. What, uh, Iowan Bulldogs asking, do you know more about it on BBIG? What was the date? Uh, yeah, I haven't seen any definitive, but this is Cryptide Inc. Shares will be issued by BBIG as a tied spinoff dividend distribution ratio. The spinoff is one share of Cryptide common stock for every 10 shares of Vinco common stock. If a stockholder holds 1,000 shares of BBIG, they would receive 100 shares of Tide. Did huh. they really need? Did they really need to give me an example of that? <laughs> yes, yes, they did. <laughs> yeah, they did. Because <laughs> <laughs> somebody go, so how many shares am I getting? I got 100 shares. How, how many shares am I getting? This is an interesting part of it. Distribution of the Tide shares are currently anticipated to be tax-free. Wow. Hmm. But I still don't see um, any new news on a specific date.
Anywho. Updating. Sorry. Um, let me make sure. I haven't seen it move much. I think so. I think it's just not. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, Vine, SoFi. So, SoFi, that's going to be interesting tomorrow with that news. I guess once the, the Federal Reserve and stuff says you're okay to be a national bank, that's when it's the big time, right, Snap? Mm, yeah. I mean, yeah. I don't know how much that means for the stock, but you would think it would be... Uh, well, if more people then now get, get you know, open up accounts with SoFi, then that would be good for them, which would make the stock go up, you would think. And I have to think that that also opens up SoFi to a lot more protection from like a federal standpoint, being a national bank, they're, they're probably, I would think the money, you know, that everything is more protected. Well, through like the FDIC, the insurance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, you know, well, maybe that changes the way they offer loans and, and things like that as well. So, yeah. What else? This vine, this thing just keeps doing crazy stuff, kind of. The last uh, whole week. Mm -hmm. Up 24% in the after hours, and I don't see... Catalysts? No. <laughs> I know I missed stuff today, but... Usually 24% in the after hours, there's some kind of yeah, something. If there isn't, then watch out for the rug. Uh, the good old-fashioned rug pull. Uh, let's see. Grip it. It says uh, BBIG also acquired the motif. Uh, TikTok's new competition. Uh, Lomotif. Neil Stewart, what's going on? What up, Neil? Streamlabs uh, didn't like your period between the F and the T there. That's why you got squashed there, gripping it. That's all it was. Grammar police. Grammar police, Streamlabs. <laughs> Sabrina coming in with some funny DDD. You want to read that? Am I? ETPI Petro Pharmaceuticals initiates two self selection studies for erectile dysfunction drug. That is a uh, <laughs> word on PTPI. Thank you for setting me up for that one, Mr. Snappy Tan. Good call. <laughs> Thank you, Sabrina. <laughs> Thank you, Sabrina, for that. <laughs> that was worth it. So worth this. Uh, you know, I was I was skeptical right when I started looking at it. Snap! As soon as you said, "Do you want to want to handle this?" One? <laughs> it's a team. It's a team, my friend. Uh, that's a good question, Caesar C. Where is Grumpy? Where is Grumpy old man? Cody Farrell asking, uh, Sabrina, do you remember how much Cosmo's poker win last night was? Oh, congratulations, Cosmo. Clown baby. What's going on, clown baby? What time is it? Is this live? What year is it? What am I doing here? <laughs> What's up, clown baby? Uh, RKLB Rocket Lab sets February 4th for launch window for next electron flight. RKLB Rocket Lab. Full name. A Adam E, what you okay, buddy? What what is that? <laughs> oh, I get it. PTPI Agra. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
Okay, ION says, so in my research, it looks like if you were a BVIG shareholder as of October 13th and held it through October 13th, then you would qualify for the spinoff dividend. So you only had to hold it for one day? Um, I'll win. Double check that and make sure um, that that those aren't a, that it's not a year apart. Yeah. Because I know I, I'm not it might have even been the same thing. I know I made a mistake on that one day. I was looking at it. I'm like, why the heck is it saying the same day? Mm hmm Yeah. Well, Odafro's giving the uh the bulldogs, bull coins, getting set up for that tournament. Oh yeah. The tournament tonight. Fifty six <laughs> minutes away. Yeah, and I, I know you're gonna be there, right? I am. I'm gonna I'm Nicky. Yeah. Be square? No, I'm not going to be square. I'm going to drink a Canadian beer in there, maybe. Oh, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Don't forget your toque, eh? <laughs> hey, thank you, Alwyn. El Mia Show. <laughs> I am El Nino. For those of you who no know habla Espanol, El Nino is Spanish for. The Nino. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, well, a friend of mine was doing an Herbalife show down in Mexico City. And his name, well, I can't give you his name. But he, he, is, he is of Mexican descent. And he, he grew up in the gangs in, in Vegas and stuff. And, and the guy has a personality... A mile wide and is a fast talker and he, he's just a funny guy to be around but we're down at they're down in mexico city uh doing a show and there's this crowd of uh people down there who don't speak a lick of english funny okay. thing is that this guy doesn't really speak a, he doesn't speak Spanish. <laughs> And so he, they're looking at him for guidance and he's just like trying to get people and everyone's telling them, Hey, get these people out of here. Can you get, and they're like, I don't, I can't tell these people. I don't know. I don't know Spanish. And so he's like, okay, El Muvo. And he's making arm gestures with his hands. You need to El Move. Oh, and they did. They did. They just, Oh, Oh, okay. And they got up and moved. <laughs> It was just like, oh, no. that is great. Oh. <laughs> True story. True story. It happened. <laughs> uh, I take it you're going to be playing poker tonight, Snap? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, especially if you're going to be there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to, you know what? I, I've kind of let everybody get a little bit of a lead into the new year. Yeah. Yeah. Before I, you know, lay claim to my first bracelet, I figure we're midway through the month. Now I can take it with no hard feelings. Okay. Well, hey, you know what? <laughs> I appreciate. I appreciate that sentiment because I, I have my my bracelet already this year. So. Junk savvy. Okay. Nice. The first beer on me, junk savvy. Thank you so much, and thank you for all. Uh, that DWAC and the warrant information and everything. I uh, really appreciate it. Okay, Iowa came back. If you're a shareholder on October 13th, you will be listed as a shareholder of record for October 15th. There's a link in the post to the article for more explanation. Thank you so much. Let me just check yeah. something real quick. I want to okay. see when, when I bought BBIG. I'm pretty sure I've had it way before then. But with my luck, Snap, I'm going to look at when I bought it, and it's going to say October 16th. Oh, what that Dano doing? Sorry, guys. You know, I'm just... You just never know now. 
<laughs> oh, he's getting he's to that age, is he? He's getting a little more quieter. He's figured out that if I'm talking into this thing, that if I don't have the uh, doggy uh, fence up, that he pretty much has run of the whole place. And he, he tends to, like, explore more. You know, he doesn't really do much, but I can hear him. You know, he's poking around. He's kind of nosing stuff, you know thinking about where he can set up his next ambush i'm sure that's smart of him <laughs> <laughs> yeah and then you know after that we're gonna start boiling chickens and are you what are you doing <laughs> are you reading something right now <laughs> yeah yeah he's he's doing all right uh yeah <laughs> Old Raven Farm. Uh, what you can do is type explanation point merch, explanation point gear. I should say. I meant that's there. You go. Lindsay Lynn's on top of it, and you can have your very own bulldog trading hat. That's right. And the I nice thing about make, it is I, it I matches. Everything. I need to make a newsboy. You know? Yeah. I think you One should. Other. Yeah. Like, um, like, uh, you're talking about like the hats that the, the kids wore that said extra, extra, read all yeah. about it. Yeah. Right. Newsy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I've heard them called Jeffrey hats. I've heard them called, uh, newsboy, you know, whatever. A cutter. I've heard him called a cutter before. What are you doing, Dano? Did somebody say merch? Odifro! He is the merch king. He is. He is. Um, but it works out good because he wears it all so elegantly and it's like, you know. <laughs> yes, he does. At me. What's he saying? I don't know. I'm at a loss. What am I? I you you got you got to be more specific, at me. Uh, you got to remember, I'm in a in a weird role right now, so my brain is scatterbrained because like there's no sun outside my window. Stuff's off. <laughs> okay, he's giving us a clue. Duh. Duh. That's he's talking about. Hat. <laughs> Especially if you're a fan of. <laughs> Hit me with the brother. The hat. I don't know. Bad of me. <laughs> he's got his own cheering section going on in that head of his sometimes. <laughs> oh, yeah. The colors of the hat go perfectly with the Raider. Oh, for sure. Okay. <laughs> okay. Right over the head. Now. We're good. <laughs> Let's get this thing back on track. Uh, BBIG currently at 583, up now 12.5% in the pre or after hours here. I was about to say pre market. Ah. <laughs> 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 uh. That's right, Odie Fro. When I'm wearing my Bulldog trading merch, I just feel so confident. I feel so dapper and debonair. I like the cut of your jet. Uh, General Venom, we were talking about the uh, Tide Dividend. So lay it on us, General Venom. What do you got? What's the date? When's it getting paid out? Uh... Is that, did we see the run up on that? Or, you know what I mean? When that came out, was it just people that owned it back in October? Or are we going to see another run up? Or is it irrelevant? You let us know, General Venom. Don't ask Streamlabs what Debonair is. Streamlabs don't know. 
Streamlabs can't. Devin ears, it's, it's a feeling. You can't. Streamlabs will never know what that is. You know what I mean? Uh, as much as AI can do, they can never feel debonair. Do you think they can snap? No. I think the day that they can, we're all in trouble. That you feel suave, mm -hmm. urbane, lighthearted, or nonchalant. Yeah. They would never be able to tell you that. And if they do, like I said, God help us all. That's right. <laughs> Uh, SoFi still above 14, so it'll be interesting to see where that opens tomorrow. I know Saucy Fredo is looking for a $15 open from SoFi. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Rely back up to $8 in the after hours. This thing just swings and swings. Like a pendulum. Mm-hmm. Scary, but it's a roller coaster ride. What goes up must come down. Yep, so true. Man, is this like deja vu? Weren't we talking about that? Uh, didn't me and you talk about that in a different time? The the guitar solo on "While My Guitar Gently Weeps." Yes. When when just you were on the mic and I was on the other side. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, Prince was an amazing. Yeah, that it was a jaw dropper. He took that to a whole new level. You look at the the rest of the the players on stage; they were just like, "Wow!" They were just completely. And those away. were big time players too. You know, yeah. it's not like he was out there outshining the local, uh, you know, whatever. Eric Clapton. <laughs> yeah. You know. Yeah. Gr Grimace, what's up, Grimace? Happy Canadian says, hello all, still working, still getting that work in, Wendy. It's got to be winding down, 7.15. You're almost there. Exactly, Junk Savvy. As great as he was, he was still underrated. I agree. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's tough when I, I, I hate to even say like somebody's overrated or underrated because to me, it's like I rate them how I, you know, if I like their music, there's two, and and I'll rate them two different ways, whether I like the music or whether I respect the music. Because there's a lot of music that I'm not a fan of. I wouldn't listen to right. it, but I'll listen right. to it and be like, wow, I could understand why this is like, these people are mm -hmm. talented. It's just not my mm -hmm. thing. Yeah. And there's other people, and there's, you know, um, there's some major artists, you know, that I don't even want to say the name because it would be polarizing that I don't really like. I mean, I, I appreciate that other people liked him and they, that he spoke to them, but he absolutely does nothing for me whatsoever. In fact, I like the covers of his original tunes better than him doing them. Dylan. Like I said, I'm not going to say the name. <laughs> as soon as you say that. No, I, I, I get it. Well, and you know what, what I've always thought, too, is, you know, sure, there's great music. There, there's kind of music that's across the board, but... You know, a big part for me of the, the music that I, you know, hold in the highest regard is relevant to situations in my life at the time, something that related to whatever I was going through, good or bad, whatever, mm -hmm. you know, so it's not just like, oh, I love this song because these are the type of guitar chords I like. I like to hear the drums like that. You know what I mean? It's just kind of a situational thing when it's like, you know, there's absolutely no reason why I should love the song wind beneath my wings but because of a memory tied to it i do you know whatever hate me for for saying that but you know free zone. <laughs> judge free zone m.i.a judge free zone. i thought we were in the trust tree it's just me and you here brother it's just me and you <laughs> you know happy canadian uh we do not have that up yet but that you need to hodl those bull coins because that's going to be coming real soon. Hodl, hodl, hodl. Hodl. Hodor. <laughs> Hodor. Uh, Hodor is my favorite. The date will tell us when we... So that date isn't out yet, General Venom. 
the date that you have to have ownership. The October date is just when it was filed. And then we'll get a new date of when you need to have ownership of the shit of BBIG to be granted the shares of Cryptide. Oh. If I'm understanding that. That's kind of what where I thought we were with it. Mark Davis's barber, my strategy in life and music is to keep things trimmed evenly. All right. Wow. We've taken it, it to that level. That's that, that's where we've stooped. Yeah. Mark Davis's barber. <laughs> wow. Uh, snap, next time you talk to your buddy, uh, the one who's a Raider fan, I want you to tell him about that, about the shenanigans that goes on in this so-called family here. <laughs> <laughs> what you feel like you need some backup i'm just saying uh you know you I can talk to, you, were used to being lone wolf you can, in a, you, in a, you, in you can talk about drugs you can talk you can even talk about gruden at this point but you start bringing mark davis's barber into it that shot's mm -hmm. fired <laughs> um because we all know we've all seen mark davis's haircut it's not good uh, it's not good no, it's not good by any standard. There's not even, you, you can't even say like, yeah, well, I could see what he was going. No, it's obviously he, the, the, he's either the biggest troll out there and does it for the lulls. I don't know. That's, that's my only take. There's no way that you in a serious way would be Mark Davis and say, I want my hair to look the way that his hair looks. And the best part about it, Snap, was when he was in Oakland, he used to drive like three hours in an old minivan. That's what he drove was a minivan, like an old carrot, like uh, like not a not a straight old old one, but like a you know an old fashioned mom soccer van. And he yeah. would drive it like three hours to go get that haircut. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so if you ever think you got it tough. Yeah. Go have a look at Mark Davis's haircut and remember that his barber here was in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, Benny Eldorado says, MIA, I was no joke rooting for the Raiders all game until they showed the graphic of Cincy winning their last playoff game in 1990. After okay, I, can, I can respect that, Benny. Uh, if you've seen Icky Woods, did you see Icky Woods doing the Icky Shuffle out there, Benny? It looked like he ate Boomer Esiason's children or something because he was looking large and in charge. It was, it was no longer the Icky Shuffle. It was the Icky... Uh, oh, it, it, it changed. He was looking big. <laughs> the bobble. It's no longer the shuffle. It's the bobble. Just kind of move your body to the side. <laughs> oh, okay. Adam E. Uh, yeah, you can replace Cryptide with Authority. You will respect my Cryptide Authority. Cryptide Authority. <laughs> but man. Dano's whining at me. I'll be back. I'll be here. You have the con. All right. <laughs> <laughs> the Prince Valiant. <laughs> uh, what was dude's name in, uh, in Spaceballs? Prince Valium? <laughs> Wasn't that what it was? Wasn't he on the Valium? <laughs> All right, guys. We're, uh, we got 38 minutes left in After Hours trading. Uh, Bo Jackson was just amazing. Willie Galt. Yep. Who we have back down? Willie Galt, Tim Brown, Mervin Fernandez, Swerving Mervin. Doors R Us is quitting on Streamlab. Says enough. I'm done with you. <laughs> Tom Boom. What's up, Tom Boom? Needs a win here. I got to get in on uh, whatever you guys had going on. I seen you paying out gambling. I'm not. I don't really like to gamble, but I know we said. Uh, I think you guys said you guys are gonna put that on pause till Toxic gets back. I like the thought of that, and hopefully we'll have her back here sooner than later. 
Yeah, Jay Schrader was garbage. That's why Benny El <laughs> He was terrible. Hey, Jason Gregory. What's up, buddy? How you been, my man? Long time no see. You got a birthday party coming up soon. So I hope all is well, my friend. Oh, look at that. Just got a text from my ex-wife that my son lost a tooth eating a Whopper. Good stuff. <laughs> it's weird for me, too, Corinne. It's, uh, I mean, it's awesome. Don't get me wrong. Anytime being on here. But yeah, something came up this morning and uh, everybody bailed me out as usual. Starting with Birdie Hunter, Snap, Adamy, everyone around. I know Odie Fro was right there if needed. Thank you as always, Odie and everybody else. Uh, you guys are the best. Oh, okay. Okay. And, and key word there, Jason Gregory was. So are you back to 100%? 75%. Where are you at now, brother? Yeah, they they were better in original Tecmo Bowl than Tecmo Super Bowl, Benny, when they were just Los Angeles before they had, like, the whole teams. That was when they had the Players Association um, licensing, but not the owners like they didn't have the team names but they had all the players which was weird back then there was a that's how games operated back in like the early 90s late 80s early 90s the rights were really weird because the the players association and the like the teams were completely different all good now jason awesome awesome good to hear my brother and uh what do we got about 14 days i'm no math major till your birthday all kinds of games. Oh, <laughs> Lieutenant likes, well, am I? They kind of screwed the Raiders, but at least they can't keep down the Tooth Fairy for Nikki. This is true. This is true. <laughs> Thank you so much for that, my Care Bear cousin. And again, Adam E. Thank you for stepping up today. Much, much love. I know I can always depend on the fam, but I missed the heck out of you guys this morning. You know, it's, uh, the day just is off, you know, good old Randall Cunningham. He was one of my favorites. So he was so fun to watch Benny, especially I used to love when he would drop back on like third and long and just punt. <laughs> you remember that he would just come out and just sneak a punt on somebody. Then he had, uh, I believe, and I may be wrong on this, somebody might have beat it. I believe Randall Cunningham has the record for the longest punt in NFL history. I want to say against the Giants uh, in the, with some crazy wind. I'll have to check that out. Freaky Friday on a Tuesday. Yeah, it really is. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to treat it kind of like it's a Friday a little bit tonight. Super chat. Man. Tom, boom, MIA means missing in action. He is all man. Tom, boom, you are the man. Thank you so much for that, my friend. Oh, man. Really, really appreciate it. Tom, boom, in the house. Ah, oh, thank you so much. Uh, don't be hard on yourself, Corinne, because this is what's going to happen. Uh, not financial advice, but I think, uh, I think Relay is not done. Uh, so, but, but get the stop losses set, get your stuff in order for the next run up. We almost hit 10 today, um, uh, but we'll be back there. 
Tiny Boxes, you are live here at Bulldog Trading on Tuesday night, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. That's right, me and uh, Snappy stepped up for me earlier and filled in, so we're back at it uh, tonight. Snappy's currently... Uh, Doing something with Dano. Uh, yeah, Kelly wasn't in it, was he, Nufo? It was just QB Bills. Uh, there was a lot of them. There was a lot of people that... And, and Jordan, after Lakers vs. Celtics, he wasn't in any more of those. <laughs> yeah, we're hanging out, Tiny. How, uh... I know we usually don't, you know what I mean? I'm usually, you're usually just getting up when I'm usually just getting off or vice versa. So I hope everything is going splendidly with you over there on that left coast. And I see you said you're at work. Hopefully business is booming. Nah, I mean, we got a half hour left here, guys, in the after hours trading. Anybody making any moves? Hey, that's a good thing being at work, Tiny. That's never a bad thing. Until we go to the moon, you got to pay the bills, right? Because ain't no bills on the moon. Uh, anybody looking at, at any late? Late moves, looking to uh, try to save yourself a day trade, maybe pick something up in this last half hour, maybe try to trade it in the morning. Let me know what you're looking at, if there's any plays out there. And again, I apologize for being a little bit out of the loop of the market today. Trying to play catch up as we speak. Rely hanging around $8, Corinne. Yeah, I know that feeling, Tiny. I know that feeling. Uh, between all the shoveling and snow blowing the last couple days here, hoo hoo. My dogs are barking. I need Calgon to take me away. Oh yeah. Uh, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna sound like a complete dad when I say this, Tiny Boxes. But when it comes to concrete floors, I ain't gonna lie. Sketchers does the trick. That's the best I found. I worked at a spot for years with concrete floors, walking around on it all day, and uh, I tried everything. And Skechers, and it worked out since I wear dad jeans and whatnot, but uh, <laughs> Skechers always did the trick. Highly recommend it, for sure. And, like, uh, I think girl sketchers, tiny, I think they make, like, fashionable ones. Like, guys' ones, there's no denying them. You can church them up, but you got, you know, it screams, I'm going to go home and cut the grass if you're a guy and you got them on. I can't believe you just learned that whisk uh, strainer trick, Benny El Dorado. It's a good one. It's a It's a life hack, no doubt about it. Ah, Corinne says, yep, they are the best. Oh, that's got to be a, uh, that's got to be a, uh, like a crazy job. Is he, does he do that in the city, Corinne? Walking dogs? Because that's got to be, uh, that's got to be rough. Oh, Corinne's a Jordan and Air kind of girl. Don't wear nothing else. <laughs> yeah, go home and cut the grass. You know it, Tiny. <laughs> New foe saying his portfolio has been bloody brutal the past six months. Anyone else? Um, There's been portions of mine that have been brutal, New foe. I ain't going to lie. Uh, BBIG was one of those. BBIG, I sat in the red for a couple months. Uh, but now I'm back in the green on it, so... 
there's been some ups and downs. My key is just not getting married to the wrong stocks. I, you know. <laughs> Jen, man, I bet your dogs are barking after that. Yep. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Mexican silverback. All comes back to Porky Piggin. That's awesome, Corinne. That's got to be a uh, that's got to be a tough, a tough, in a sense, job. You know what I mean? But still, uh, getting to deal with dogs all day rather than humans—that's glorious. Ah, okay. That explains the Adidas. Uh, Benny El Dorado. Any truth to the? Uh, what is it, an acronym that Adidas stood for all day I dream about sex? You ever hear that one? And then that uh, I also heard this might have, that was probably an urban legend. So was the other one that Fila was a dude that left Adidas and Fila stood for finally I left Adidas. <laughs> That's what passed for knowledge in my city when I was a kid. Okay. <laughs> oh, Adidas is the new and one. And one was hot for a minute, GTA. I know you're a young buck, but uh And one kicks were never really hot, but their gear was hot when they were at their peak, when they had a uh, hot sauce running around and the wizard All day I dream about stocks. Okay. <laughs> hey, I'm just telling you what I heard. <laughs> I don't know. Twenty-five minutes, guys. Be sure to make those last-minute moves, and one of those moves is to uh, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Walmart X, who are you talking about? Um, what you talking about? Starberries, GTA. Get you some Starberries. What are those things? Uh. What did the Starberries go for? Like eight bucks, I think, at the Stephen Berries. Maybe ten bucks. You weren't doing it if you didn't have yourself a pair of them Patrick Ewings. So BBIG looking like it's uh, gonna hold around this five eighty mark going into uh, tomorrow morning. It's gonna be real interesting what this thing does tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know that one snap <laughs> and d -Wack go hovering right around 85 84 70 for d -Wack. Yeah, you know what? I was a sneaker dude for a while, and uh, I just, I ruined sneakers doing dumb stuff, so. New Balance, Skechers, and Waterproof Hush Puppies. That's what I'm talking about, Tom Boom. Those are some straight dad kicks right there. Exactly what I wear. And I got a pair of Timberland boots. A couple pairs of Timberland boots, actually. But I wear uh, shoes nowadays for uh, purpose, not for looks, really. I keep Nicky flossing, though. And that's a pain because his feet grow. So it's like, ah, 
$60 pair of shoes, which doesn't seem like uh, it's too, too expensive, but when he only gets a couple months, two months out of them, and then his feet are too big. Uh, how does one make a waterproof cheddar biscuit, GTA? Because I would like to know, because everyone knows Red Lobster cheddar biscuits are the best thing since sliced bread. Well, yeah, Mexican silverback. I remember that dudes had on Nike suits with the Pumas with the fat laces because it was either that or K-Swiss. Remember the K-Swiss Mexican silverback? Five pair of orthos, Mitchell Wayne. I could use some orthos. My problem is my one foot. Uh, I broke my ankle real bad one time and then... Like, the swelling just never, like, kind of went away after it came back. And, uh, so, like, that shoe, I either got to buy shoes that, like, my right foot will be way too loose. I don't know. It's weird. I got two different sizes. Not feet, just, like, my ankle, but the lower ankle right where the foot is. Garpa. Never heard of those, Benny Eldorado. Are those like uh, shoes or sneakers? Okay, well, you're an OG, Al Snap. Nothing but Nike Errs and Echo Winter Boots for concrete. I will use my Nike Air. Okay. Tom Boom's getting horn swoggled. You ain't gluten free. If you're eating uh, cheddar bay biscuits, I'm, I'm, I, you know, I'm no doctor, but I'm sure there's gluten in there. Probably extra gluten. That's probably what makes it so good. Ah, okay, expensive Italian hiking shoes, but you use them for work for years and they don't break down. That's what it's all about. You know, when you get into like work caliber boots, that's a a whole different story. Uh, Mexican Silverback, we were all imitating Run DMC at one point or another back in the day. Hey, C Santa, what's up, brother? Great to see you, my man. I will, uh, hopefully you're going to be playing some poker tonight, Mr. Santa, because I will be there. You know what that reminds me of, Benny, is the, um, how about the con, the converse? Now, I don't know when these exactly came out, but I remember, um, like when I got old enough. So you had like your typical converse and converse, like your Chuck Taylors. And those got big when I was a kid again, like not out of, uh, not just because whatever they were, they were kind of like skateboarder shoes and like before grunge but then do you remember that they came out with those ones that were like chuck taylor combat boots but you could flip you could wear them two different ways and you could flip the thing down you could flip the uh the top down and it would be like a different color those were tight oh you'd be having the um skinny jeans on gta is that what true religion is that's like those $200 skinny jeans that give people the ability to count the, ch the change in your pockets. <laughs> Vans were still big with uh, with the skateboarding scene. Snap. Airwalk were my joints. Airwalks were my favorite skateboarding shoes. They lasted. Oh, Mitchell Wayne, what did I miss? What did I miss? What did you post in the get in my belly? Okay. No skinny jeans, GTA? Good job. Gotta keep the circulation flowing, brother. Gotta keep the circulation flowing. Ain't gotta be over the top, you know. Comfort fit, that's all. 
Something like that. All right, guys, 17 minutes. Yeah, I don't worry about society no more, Benny. I used to, like I said, obviously when you're younger and, you know, image is a thing. Don't get me wrong. I like to, I like to have clean clothes, things like that. Like, I like to present myself as far as that. But as far as the brand name goes, I'm over all that. But, as to what Mr. Santa's asking, Nicky Boy's doing fantastic. He actually, he's at his miles, but he just lost a tooth, and uh, he bit into a whopper and lost a tooth about a half hour ago, Mr. Santa. But, you know, the good news of that is she's got to fund the, uh, the tooth fairy bill on this one. And that's like three in a row. I'm on a winning streak. He just keeps losing teeth at his mom's. Good stuff. <laughs> Uh, I completely forgot where I was going with that. What I was talking about. Oh, uh, talking about the LA gears and stuff, Benny. Now, when it comes to Nikki, you know, I'm not going to uh, get into the habit of he's got to have the newest Jordans on the block and all that kind of stuff. But at the same time, I'm not going to be a hypocrite and, uh, and send my kid into battle with uh, with the GoBots instead of the Transformers. You know what I mean? That's just the way I am. I want him to have, you know, my mom busted her butt, you know, to get me a pair of Jordans when I was a kid or to get me, you know, something that was, and I know she didn't have it, you know, and it was money that probably should have been spent elsewhere, but because, you know, my mom wanted to put that smile on my face, so it's, uh, you know, moderation. Yeah, as long as it don't have a stain, it's good to go. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. And it's, you know, I've accumulated enough at this point to Benny where it's like, you know, sure, I've got a ton of nice clothes if I need to dress up, you know, if I need to wear a tie, stuff like that. But I, I went to Catholic school my whole life. I was forced into doing that for, you know, 12 years, like, I uh, I don't like it <laughs> unless I have to, uh, you know, obviously I, you know, if I'm going to a, a wedding or, you know, on the other side, a, a wake or a funeral or something, I, you know, I wear a shirt and a tie. I dress respectful, but I like to be comfortable. Speaking of comfortable, you have 14 minutes here left in the after hours. And then hopefully we'll see you guys over there getting some poker in after that. Even if you don't play poker, you should still stop in and at least have a chat. Uh, nothing better than getting to know some people and have more than just one voice coming at you. The conversations in there, it don't stop. And I mean, you've we've slowly watched... Uh, our tight knit community become a bunch of online poker junkies in the last month. And yeah, I'm talking to all you online poker junkies out there. <laughs> Cause it's becoming a, it went from Tuesday and Friday to dang near every night. And I love it. I love it because it's, uh, it's like one of those good addictions like we're talking about because it's not like people, you know, it's not you guys are addicted to a casino. No, you guys are addicted to having a good time with each other. You know what I mean? That's what makes it so cool. It's not on like a degenerate level where it's like, man, I'm worried about Santa, man. I haven't been noticed. He's losing a lot of bulk. You know what I mean? It, it ain't like no degenerate stuff. It's awesome. It's just, uh, it's cool. It's It's turned into... I, you know, I, I don't even think about poker. I just know usually after 8 o'clock, there's people in that poker room that you can go talk to and, and hang out. And I think it's a it's a cool thing, and I want to see it keep going, keep growing, keep getting bigger. Uh, I know we got some bingo that we're going to throw into the mix soon here. Odie Fro been busting his butt trying to get that up and running, as he always is behind the scenes doing 
uh, you know, him, Nunya, with the, these poker games. Uh, remember, guys, they don't just uh, organize themselves. They don't just kind of happen. And those are the two guys, along with Bulldog, that make, make it happen week in, week out. Uh, yeah, you need to, Tiny. It's good times in there. Like I said, even if you don't play, jump in. Oh, we got a Norma Know-It-All in the chat, huh? Hey, Norma Know-It-All. Uh, I believe I still have your garbage pail, kid. Uh, you were, if you're looking at the poster this way, you were right between Nat Nerd and I believe, I can't think of what was on the other side. But great to have you here, Norman Know-It-All. I like the name, but do you really know it all, Norma? <laughs> Tom Boom got the last 505 at about the bell today. Okay, so we haven't seen a 505, Tom Boom, you're telling me, in uh, going on almost four hours here. You know what it is? Streamlabs uh, starts giving those 505s on the dark pools after hours. I think that's what it is. Well, you got to just keep keep watching, Tiny, because these animals go all night in there. There's a lot of times that I'll get off, go to sleep, get back up, and they're, they're still rocking in there. Uh, doors are rust. Covering up for tooth berries in case if she's late drinking at a bar or in Alaska freezing. Uh, Amir, my boy, man. You know, you are up there on my uh, on my bucket list, Amir. We will have one of those beers together one day. And that is a fact, Jack. But thank you so much for that super chat. As always. Always oh, coming through. Doors are rust. Wow, 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 he's very nice. Ah, to know it all, I'd have to know what I didn't know. Interesting, Norma know it all. Well, metaphorically speaking, Norma know it all. Uh, isn't it our time? If you're here and I'm here, Norma know it all. Isn't it our time? Caesar C. Back home. Two beers deep. Ready for some aggressive bluffy poker. Nice. Awesome. Awesome. Doors are us. Trust me. It would, uh, it would truly be my honor, my friend. And uh, we're going to make that happen. Uh, where is Robert Redford? I told you, Tom Boom, I was once in a, uh, I mean, granted, it was a walk-on role, and I was just a kid walking on a baseball field, but I was in a movie with Robert Redford in The Natural, filmed in Buffalo. Ah, no all, so can't not know nothing. Ah, I see what you did there, GTA. I think. Or maybe I don't. <laughs> All right. Nine minutes left in the official trader day. Or after hours trading, I should say. Oh, a long line of know-it-alls. You know, I know there's a, uh, I know there's a clever, uh, a clever play on that one, Norman Know-it-all. <laughs> but I'm just going to leave it, because I can't think of it. Well played. Well played. Okay. Yeah, at the very end, 
Uh, Benny, when them little kids run on the field. I'm one of those little kids. Yeah, right at the, uh, at the very end. Tom, boom. I don't think I got any jack out of it. Any scratch. I think it was just like an open thing and they had, uh, kids. It was filmed at, uh, I believe it was, uh, Memorial Stadium. It was a stadium in Buffalo. Like that part was filmed in Buffalo. All right, Tiny. Yeah, it's going to be a uh, wacky wild Wednesday here at Bulldog Trading tomorrow. Tiny Boxes. Hopefully, you will be joining us when that left coast starts waking up. Have a great night, Tiny. Good to see you tonight. Yeah, I peaked at, uh, at three. <laughs> That's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> Super chat. <laughs> oh, Santa. That's a disturbing image from the Uncle Santa Tooth Fairy with a tooth to wand and a wand in my hand. Oh, Mr. Santa. Thank you so much, my brother, for that. Su -su -su -su. Super chat. You guys are the best, man. I tell you, you really are. Uh, I need I needed some some sunshine today, and you guys. I will tell you what, getting to come on here tonight with you guys just uh, absolutely turned my day around. Made it made it a great day, as we do uh, every day here. Oh, tiny boxes got that two two right here. Uh, she ain't lying. So we will uh we'll see what we can do to get Santa in that tutu. Stay tuned for that, Bulldog Trading. And Gone Postal would come in. Kids running out onto a baseball field. That's a fire hazard. It was like 82, okay, GP? Okay. Alright, come on, GP, babe. Babe, come on, babe. I mean, think about it, babe. Hey. GP. What do you want, babe? Oh, I know you do, Tiny. That's why I said I know you got those two twos over there. <laughs> Stand on that good, good medicine. <laughs> Andre, my man. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's do a quick rundown here before everything closes. Anything that anyone... uh maybe isn't looking at a chart out there any updates you guys want before this uh market what is going on here orf where are we at where what what what, 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 what? orf running now so right next to sofi it feels like it's six months ago uh mexican silverback it is better off dead this mountain is pure snow <laughs> Do you know the street value of this mountain? <laughs> What's your name, little helper? Ah, <laughs> oh, that is better off that Mexican silverback. It is so good. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. Uh, John Cusack's best work. Yeah, Orf is on the... Uh, Excuse me. Uh, Orf is up there on the FOMO list. Number two, up 17% in the after hours. And all I'm seeing three hours ago, they updated their financial outlook. So I'm, I'm taking some positive uh, forward thinking here for Orf design. Lane Meyer. Truly a sight to be seen. <laughs> Four weeks, 20 papers, that's $2. Cash. Uh, just one star, GTA, just one star. 
And I I did, I think, at one point own two, and I think I re-gifted one. <laughs> GP gambling, that was two dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, you like the Kozel? <laughs> All right, guys. Two minutes left here. Uh, I re-gifted one of them. Because I had, I think I had three, and one was like a real cool one. One looked like, uh, you know, it's it had my name on it, and it looked like I really owned the star. But then I had two other ones that were just like, it just said like, you own this star. You're the proud owner. It didn't say my name. So that I re-gifted one of those. It was like a last minute, somebody's birthday. Here, I bought you the star. Don't pay attention to the fine print. You own it. I promise. So BBIG looking like 575, 578, somewhere right around here that we'll, uh, we'll finish the day at and see where it picks up tomorrow morning. But I am going to uh, mosey on over to those poker tables. I got to take care of something here real quickly, but Trader Fam, thank you guys for a great night. Sorry about this morning not being with you. Uh, trust me, I would have much rather been with y'all, but I'm sure Birdie Hunter, Snappy Tan, Adamy, everybody, uh, just amazing. But tomorrow morning, I'll be back in full effect, ready to go, and I will... Uh, See you guys then. If not sooner, hopefully you'll be joining us over in the uh, in the poker game. And like I said, even if you don't play poker, just to come in and, and chat or even just to listen can be fun. All right. So goodbye for now, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, at the worst, I'll see you all in 13 hours. But hopefully I'll be seeing a lot of you guys over there in the poker room. Much love, Trader Fam. Love you guys. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Everybody have a great night. And uh, wake up ready to make some tendies tomorrow.
Hell nah. Check it a check, one, two, check it a check. Do a little mic check. Just a tiny little mic check. Looks like we have switched over to the crypto. I'm live. I'm gravy, baby. All right. Thank you, Bulldog. Good to see you, sir. Hope to see you on the poker table later. Lady Robin, whatever. Milady, good evening to you. Cesar, how are you, sir? Yo, low key, we got some folks. All right. All right, we're gonna turn a camera on. I think we'll turn a camera on. Why not? As Enzo would say, let's get swifty. Let's do that. I was stuck in meetings a good chunk of today. I did not get to hang out with you guys as much as I wanted to. And such is life. And such is life. And such is Hello, neighbors. How we doing? We doing good? Oh my God, Caesar! I know. Every day is my birthday, so I am aging quite fast. Very quite old, and I am shirtless. I am quite shirtless under this under this suit, but I have to keep it on. You know. For YouTube. <laughs> I could use a Werther's right now, honestly. My God. Benny El Dorado. Yeah. Good to see you, buddy. Good to see ya. Postal light I was. <laughs> ah, sank a whale. Always good to see ya. Thanks for stopping by. Ah, I'm doing good as long as I uh, keep having my electrolytes. <laughs> Where there's a will, there's a way. <laughs> uh, I'm seeing some gambles, Mr. Tom Boom. Doing what he does the best. I will try to follow suit. I will gamble all of my Werther's. Let's we'll see how I do. So who who got to watch uh, Cardano go crazy and spike up over the weekend? Over our, uh, some of, for some of us an extended holiday weekend. And we are back over a dollar fifty. Very happy with that. Now we just need some other stuff to follow suit. Oh, Tom Boom doesn't have a boom. I don't know. Something tells me that you were booming earlier today. Something tells me. You, you did not get the 505 at all today? I'm quite shocked. I'm very shocked. If I see anybody winning on the slots, it's usually you, Mr. Tom Boom.
Ah, uh, Benny, you saw that, yep. Benny says, I watched as well. And I held the whole time, just like I did when it went down. I hear you, man. Most things that go down must come up. Giggity. Ah, oh, you didn't get the 505, but you did get a boom. Boom, chicka boom, my friend. 202 to the head. Sir Leash Sir says, hello, family. Hello, Sir Leash Sir. <laughs> How are you this lovely evening? Tom Boom. So one a day is okay. Yeah. So you haven't had it yet, though. So it's not okay yet. You know it's not okay. Oh, there we go. Ata. I didn't have my comb ready. Love this thing. Sir Leech Sir says, what's breaking out? Uh, are you wondering about crypto or are you wondering about the stock market? Because today it was kind of a crapshoot uh, in the stock market. There was a lot of tanking and then a lot of things going up. And uh, it ended, you know, the S&P 500 ended up in the red, Dow Jones ended up in the red. Um, but there were some winners today. We had uh, DWAC and FUN. Those were, those were some wins today. <laughs> uh, I was in meetings all day, so I did not see everything. But <laughs> what was the one stock that went up like 800%? I saw that and I was like, what? Where did that come from? What, really? It's insane. Whoever got in on that one. Good for you, Pikachu. I need my precious Shiba to get back over the threes and uh, kind of work back up to the fours and beyond. Benny Eldorado's Jones and for the boom. Oh, Caesar, that was an IPO. Okay. Yeah, that was that was pretty cool to watch. I just didn't have much time to watch that sucker today. I'm Jones for a boom too, man. But I got to be careful with those uh, playing the slots right now. The slots treat me dirty. What's up, Rudy? Hope you're having a good night. Thoughts on Solana? You know, I don't have any stake in that one. Uh, do you have any? And uh, I know there's there's a couple of us in the Bulldog fam that do, and uh, they they are very uh, they're thinking very very positively about it. Man, yeah, if you got in on that early, I think you're doing pretty well. I'd be curious to know where you got in, Rudy. I mean, $140 right now? Holy crap. April, April of 2021, it was 25 bucks. It's like, that's hilarious. I mean, hilariously awesome, is what I mean. Been reading great things about it, gotcha. Oh yeah. All time high was 260 bucks. But you know, I can almost guarantee you, because nothing's guaranteed completely in life, that it's gone down 
a little bit along with everything crypto. Most things have taken a little dippy dip. But if you believe in it, you believe it's going to go back up along with many of the other cryptos. Yeah. Sky's the limit for a lot of these. Oh, you wished you got in early. Yeah. Oh man. I got in, I got it got in on Litecoin when it was when it was so cheap. And uh, I ended up selling it because I wanted to jump into something else. Because you know, that's what some of us do. When we get emotional about stuff, shouldn't get emotional. When we're making monetary decisions. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, gamble with your head. Yep. I hear you, Sir Leash. And I should know better too. I mean I, I've learned I've learned enough, especially from last year. And I've done really well gambling with my head and not getting emotional about stuff. But every now and then something just grabs a hold of my emotions and just yanks it. Oh no. <laughs> uh, I see uh, Caesar has put some cake in there uh, in the chat. I, I thank you for the cake, sir. And Odafro saying happy birthday, GP. It's not, it's not my birthday. It's not freaking birthday. El Snapatan says happy birthday. No, it's not. Ah, crypto for us all. Ah, if they jumped off a bridge, would you? Would you also jump off a bridge, crypto for us all? Oh, here comes Rudy. Now Rudy's just jumping on the bandwagon. The birthday bandwagon. It's not, not my birthday. Where's Tiny Boxes? She knows when my birthday is. She's doing a countdown. <laughs> crypto, I know. When I asked the question about jumping off a bridge, I was I, I wanted to backtrack it, but it was too late because, yeah. <laughs> there were a couple of times I think that my parents asked me that question, and I'm like, yeah, because <laughs> I didn't want to give them the satisfaction of the of the answer that they wanted. Yes, mother and father, I would in fact jump off a bridge if my if my friends did. Of course, I would look first and make sure they didn't die. But then I would do it. Like an awesome lemming. I have jumped off a bridge more than a few times. I've jumped out of a perfectly good airplane at the age of 18. On the day I turned 18, I was like, whatever. I'm as old as I want. And I went to an airfield in Lodi and I said, hey, see that plane over there, you guys? I want in that plane, and I want it to take me up to a certain altitude, and I just want to fly out being attached to another dude. Not that there's anything wrong with that. It was awesome. All the farmland looked like little squares. It was cool. Da na 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 na. Say it's your birthday. Da -na 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 -na. What's up, Junk Savvy? How you doing? I hope you've had a nice day, my dear. Ooh, we got Firefly Nerd. Give him Bulldog Hold'em. Hello, Firefly Nerd. Got some names I've never seen before. Good to see you guys tonight. Welcome to the stream. Looks like you're very interested in poker. Seems like maybe you've been doing some research and you want to play some poker with us. You can jump in that Discord and get started, baby. I will be joining you guys when I'm off the microphone. And speaking of me being here, where is Toxic? Where's Toxic? I don't know where she is. I don't even see her gambling right now.
Oh, good. You got some tendies. What did you uh, What did you get into, Junk? I'm curious. Was it DWAC? Oh, Toxic is sick. No, no, Toxic. Ah, well. Ah, coming from yours truly right here, who has gotten sick probably more often than I ever have in a single year year time span. The struggle is real. Oh, she went to the hospital. Oh man. I'll reach out to her. I love that girl. I'm going to give her the biggest prayers in the world. And I wish she could listen to me while she's there because I want to make her laugh. I want to make her freaking laugh. If anybody could do it, I could do it. Ah, oh, high blood pressure. Gotcha. Thank you, Adam. Poor girl. <sighs> she probably has her cell phone with her. Let's see. Let's, uh, do, 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 do. I'm just gonna send her a little something. Say, hey there, Missy. Heard you are feeling very well. I promise I will be on the mic for the very next night that you are available to listen. You have my word, girl. Get better. XO, 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 XO. Here we go. All right. Okay. Cool. Thank you guys for letting me know. I'm glad I asked. If I didn't ask anything, I just would have thought that she was just busy tonight. But I've gotten used to seeing certain people, all of you guys. <laughs> but. She's one of them. So thank you for letting me know. All right. I have sent over messages. I don't know when she's going to get them. I know the plight of going to hospitals all too well. Normally, I'm, uh, I've been the one in the past taking others. It is not fun. One thing I've learned is to do what you can to entertain yourself. I hope she gets to feeling better pretty quick. Holy crap, Cardano just hit 152. That's good. Tom Boom hit the 505. Hell yeah, buddy. Good job. Speaking of some folks that I'm used to seeing here, I see Alex in the chat. Alex, I, I don't normally see you during the day, but I have been seeing you more often when I'm on the microphone. And I'm only on the microphone, you know, two, two days, maybe three out of the week. But I've noticed you on more, and uh, I like having you around. So just saying glad to see you, man. I hope you've had a good day as well. I hope you've had a nice weekend. Oh, you've had the worst luck. Oh, no. I'm just wishing you the best, and you say you have the worst luck. <laughs> Tell me what kind of... Are you talking about your gambles? Oh, yeah, your gambles. I will tell you this though, your odds are better on winning the gambles than the slots, unless you're Tom Boom. If you're Tom Boom, you're going to win slots most of the time. Hence the 505 that we got to see uh, a little bit above there.
<laughs> Here, let me do gamble all Alex's. I'm gonna do a gamble all Alex's. I'm gonna use Alex as a parameter. Let's see how unlucky you are, Alex. Using your name in a gamble. What's it gonna be? What's gonna be? Holy crap. Come on, Streamlabs, don't let me down. Ha oh, ha, see? All right, you're lucky after all, Alex. I need all the gambles I can get. <laughs> you junks tested the uh, the slots and heists. Uh, I've tested them a lot in the past. Uh, the problem with me is uh, poker, uh, playing poker. And, um, you know, I, I've, I'm kind of like uh, Adam, where, where I have a tendency to just want to give coins to people to help them out. But poker has really, really stripped me of my coins. So I have to be very careful. I have never gambled. I've never done the gambles as much until now. And I've had to lay off the slots. As dirty as they are, gotta lay them off. That's right, Caesar. I beat you to it. Pew, 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 pew. I'm always proud when I can beat Caesar to a pew pew. I just happen to have my clicking finger ready. We'll have to see how Alex does on the next go around here. Wishing you the best of luck, my friend. Well, Rodney Smith lost. Okay. <laughs> now see, yellow key. All right, you won. <laughs> you know what? This switchblade comb, I got this as one of my Christmas presents from the Bulldog family. They didn't have to do it. They went out of their way to get me a couple of really cool things. And this is awesome. It's awesome. I could be like, oh, hey, guys. So I'm just talking about the market. And oh, my gosh. Oh, Cardano's going up. Ha-cha. Ha-cha. There we go. And then it just shoots up like that. Love this thing. If you're somebody that likes, you know, like the f things to fidget with, this is perfect to fidget with. I've never had one as a child, never had one growing up at all. Ah, oh, Tom Boom. Tom Boom trying to lure me in with the skull and crossbones slots are due. I'm not falling for that one, Tom. Dr. Click and Finger, I presume. Cha -cha! Tom, Tom says, I need that comb. Alex says, I shall buy one. <laughs> you know what? I just thought of something. I got, I got two of these from the Bulldog family. I treat this one with a lot of respect, so I have a feeling this one's going to be okay. I did give the other one to my son, who's 16. But I have a feeling he's not using it at all and it's still in the box. What's in the box? It, it's it's a switchblade comb. I'm wondering. I'm wondering if we can uh, we can have a little competition. And someone might get a switchblade comb in the mail. What do you guys think? You guys think that's something you want to do while I sit my Powerade? <laughs> NFT the comb. <laughs> I was like, Rob, Robin's like, yep, I know Robin wants it. Okay, all right, we, we got some people. I want to fly with it. We have some interest here. <laughs> oh, what is this jug? 
Oh, this is just a jug that's been in my kitchen for a long time. It's it's power aid. It's what it says on the side. It has electrolytes. It may have been tapped from the Rockies. A raffle for the comb. I think uh, I think we can do a sort of. Uh, okay, I'm gonna think of something. Let me go bug my teenager real quick. Um, I'm gonna find out where he put that freaking thing. I want to make sure he didn't misplace it. It was only a month ago or so that I gave it to him. Hold tight. BRB. Okay. All right. Go. So, I I do have one available. <laughs> uh. All right. Let me get some parchment here. Yeah, I said parchment. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> No, we're not playing Jeopardy, Adam. <laughs> All right. Well, when you bring up raffle, that's kind of what I'm thinking, but I'm thinking of it slightly different. I'm going to think of it like a very simple kids game. I am going to think, let's see, hold on. All right. I'm going to think of a number between 1 and 100, and I am going to start the timer right now and give you all two minutes. Set my alarm for two minutes. Yeah. PM alarm. Here we go. Game on. Seven. We got 69 from Loki. Alex is choosing 58. Rodney choosing 18. Loki choosing 11. 
Look, Loki. Loki, you can't keep guessing. What are you doing? YOLO. One guess per person, sir. Just counting all the way to 100. All right, we got Junk, we got Loki, we got Alex, we got Rodney so far. Oh, here we go, Milady. Lady guessing 42. <laughs> Clock's ticking. Clock's ticking. Loki's like, sorry, sorry. You didn't stipulate in the rules that I couldn't just say one to a hundred. Sorry. Ignore 10 of mine. Caesar. Wondering where you were. 72. And we got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And we're done. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We got six people. Six people involved. The number I chose was 78. <laughs> oh, Caesar got in at the last second with 72. I got Junk with 57. Loki's 69, giggity. Alex 58. Rodney's 18. Milady's 42. You guys can check my work. And Caesar, 72. My number was 78. Caesar, I, I believe you just won a switchblade comb. Uh. That was fun. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, there we go. We got congratulations going on. Congrats, my friend. Alex is still going to buy one. He's like, whatever. I must have it. Oh, that's even worse. That's even worse. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Caesar <laughs> doesn't even know what he's doing. Hold on. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> So he's just like, yeah, I'm just gam I'm just gambling over here in the poker room. I don't know what you're doing, but I saw some numbers. I'm gonna throw a number out. Whatever. Got it. <laughs> oh, Caesar's pumped up about it. All right. <laughs> All right. I will work that out with you offline, my friend. Uh, I just wrote your name down on the piece of paper saying you're the winner of the comb and then I put a little dash and an LOL next to it just because this whole situation was kind of LOL. That's all right, Caesar. Back at it again with the Excel spreadsheets and giveaways. Tom um, Boom, you are a tad late. But Caesar still would have won. Caesar guessed 72. The number I was thinking was 78. 
Alex, Alex says, I mean, if you don't want it. Oh, Junk Savvy just realized after hours closed, couldn't figure out why stocks weren't moving. Oh, yes. Everything stops moving as soon as I show up. It's my fault. But you're going to go to sleep now. Good night, Junk Savvy. I will see you tomorrow, as is tradition. Always happy I get to catch you. I know you're on a later time than me. <laughs> Tom Boom says, okay, 78. <laughs> you did not boom this time, Mr. Tom. Well, that was fun. All right, let's see. And Bitcoin hanging around 42,000. Sheba's just hanging at 28. Cardano's still, still looking stronger than everything else, it seems like. Doge back under 17 cents. Ethereum's still above 3,000, 3167. I like it. Man, stock market was just something today. Everything took a dive, so I'm not going to blame any particular stock that I'm invested in. Almost everything took a dive. There were a few winners today. Oh, you were up at 1 a.m. junk. Holy crap. Get some sleep. Or as, as I used to tell my babies when they were really small, go Mimis, go Mimis. What are you doing up right now? Go Mimis. Caesar, you can't even grow a beard. Not that it matters. You can still just tinker with this thing. You can just walk around the house and if somebody threatens you, you'll be like, ha -ja! Better step back or I'll comb you. Oh, looks like Grimace is getting into poker. That's scary. I'm a fan of Grimace. But he is scary to play. Oh, is that what is that what junk does? Gets up early to make those tandies. Man, I love my sleep too much. And dude, if I if I end up staying up till 1 a.m., I'm done. Like I wake up, I'll wake up the next morning and just I, I will want to jump off a bridge. Caesar says, I shall tinker. I would expect nothing less. Hacha! This is better than any fidget spinner, I'll tell you that. Better than anything. Do you have at least hair on your head? You could at least tinker with the hair on your head. See how many people we got in the poker room. Oh, we got some people tonight. Oh, oh! All right, nice. We got 22 people in there right now. I'm loving it. I can see that list of people growing. I think we've had over 25, close to 30 at one point. 
Milady Robin, doing your gambles. I will gamble. Let's see, what am I gonna gamble? I will gamble all. <laughs> all of my dogs. <laughs> See what it does. Best of luck. Come on, baby. There we go. Huh. I didn't lose my dogs. Thank God. Ha <laughs> I was, I was waiting for that. I was waiting for that. <laughs> Sorry, I was just bluffing. Just bluffing. Alex is going balls to the wall playing slots one. VH, good evening to you, sir or madam. Congratulations on your newfound bull coins. We all got to start somewhere. I don't think the slots one worked. I think you gotta, you gotta do a little more than one, potentially. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think it's I think it's between 10 and 101 if I'm not mistaken, Tom Boom. But when it comes to the slots. I got five on it. Grab your Tom Boom, let's get keyed. Of course, you had to give it a try. I think we've all tried different parameters just to see where it takes us down the, the wormhole. There's Mr. Arctic Fox. Good evening to you, sir. Saying good night to Junk Savvy as well. Oh, and Tom got the 50 bull coins. And that was just off of 10. Ha <laughs> ha! Wow. And then Arctic Fox comes in like, whatever. I'll win what I want. And gets the 303. Oh, oh, oh it's the triple skulls. No, I didn't even notice that. Oh my god. All because you were testing the 10. Oh man. You knew it was coming up too. The triple skull was coming. But you still got it. Your night is complete. <laughs> What's up, TikTok? How are you, buddy? I hope you've had a nice weekend and I hope you've had a nice day. I was just, I was working all day long. I did really not, I didn't have much of a chance to talk to you, to you guys in the stream today. And I didn't have much time to look at the market, but um, yeah, I did some catching up. And uh, yeah, it was something. Lots of things look oversold to me though. Cardano just tapped 153, giggity. Oh, thank you, Mr. Fox. Says, hello, Postal. Nice to hear your voice, my friend. Always good to see you. Of course. That's right. Profits are, profits are good. Any profit. That's right. 
Tendies are tendies, Mr. Tom. Yeah, and it was on a test. <laughs> oh, yeah. Cardano's got a good spike right now. The RSI is hot on that mofo right now, but from what I've seen over the weekend, it can stay hot for a while and keep going up. It all depends on momentum. That sucker has just been doing quite well. Oh, doctor, doctor. Are you playing poker tonight, doctor? Doctor says, good evening. Busy day for you too? Yeah, it was busy AF. And it was an 816 show today. Yes. It was kind of that, that way from the very start with me. It actually started off with me setting my alarm for 5.30 a.m., which, you know, normally I'll wake up at that time to, to do certain things. And, uh, and you know, be on the West Coast, I, I don't necessarily have to be up at that time to, to do stuff in the market unless I really want to, other than check it and go back to sleep. But uh, I drive my son to school in the morning. His high school is, is not close by. And so I, I normally leave here uh, right around 6 a.m. to drop him off at his friend's house. And he just so happened to not tell me that his friend wasn't going to school today. And so he was getting dropped off directly to school. So I could have slept in just a tad bit longer, just a tad, more than a tad. Teenagers, whatever. That's how my day started. And then work was work. Work, 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 work. <laughs> Grumpy old man coming out of nowhere. Kids not tell us things? No way! Yes, I'm old. I still know sarcasm, sonny boy. I know. I know. Should have known better, Grumpy. Should have known better. Tom um, Boom killing it with the gambles. Alex won as well. Congrats. And Loki as well. Rodney says it is a need to know basis. <laughs> Pretty much. Gamble all. I'm gonna gamble all teenagers. There we go. Let's gamble all the teenagers. Hoppin needs some bull coins. Let's do it. Ah, doctor says no poker. Got house chores to take care of. I hear you. Ah, well. Guess I'm stuck with my teenager. I won my bull coins. That's okay. <laughs> oh yeah, grumpy. Someday, someday I think I should have stopped having kids at zero. But I figure one of these little light ones, Sixers. Gonna take care of me one day. One of them, hopefully. Gotta have one good one from the litter. Oh yeah, that's that's somebody we haven't seen in a while. Mr. Six Million Dollar Man. There was another another person I haven't seen in a while. Uh, Don Johnson. However, I did see him pop in out of the blue just uh, last week. I think it was later last week. So I think he's still checking in. But you know, 
I know what it's like. Life catches up to you. As much as I love hanging out with you guys and being here as much as possible, it just happens. Life. That's right, Rodney. If you have enough kids, at least one may show pity for you when you become too old and decrepit. It's gonna pity the fool. Oh, doctor. Doctor and milady lost their coins. Don Johnson working a lot. Gotcha. Thank you, Tom Boom. You're very informative. And of course, Don Johnson never wins. Never. Or does he? The world may never know. Yeah, long hours. Yeah. Yeah, I did I did the long hours thing with my previous job. I know exactly what that entails. But good for him. Hard worker. Ah, Dr. Lamau has stepped in. Acknowledging another doctor in the room. Doctor. For those of you that don't know, I have a kitten named Dr. Jones. And I do address him every single time as doctor as I walk in. And he knows exactly what his name is. Oh, my lady going in for more gambles. How, how often do you have to wait between gambles? I thought it wasn't it five minutes. Let me see. Tom Boom uh, says you'll get 50 gold coins for that 100 grumpy old man when Toxic is back. Yeah. I look forward to seeing her back. That's right, Toxic is the gambling queen. She is right up there with the best of them. Tom Boom, you're wanting to steal 69 bull coins from every player if you get 69. Trying to flip around the competition, I see. I don't know about that. Yes. B Big did awesome today. I mean, some did better than others, but um, B Big's had a good run. And the end of the day at uh, five dollars nineteen cents went <laughs> hit five ninety nine. That's fitting. It just couldn't touch six dollars. Like really. And then the after hours closed at five seventy eight. See where it goes tomorrow. Oh, hey, Firefly Nerd. How are you? Got some good bull coins there, I see. Nice little uh, collection. Must be quite the hodler. Need to take some notes. Tom Boom is trying to devise like every possible scenario to where he can steal 
all of our bold coins from us. Oh, it's something I missed. Ah, I'm sorry I missed it. Man, I hate missing out on stuff. That's fine. I know I can't do it on everything. Everyone's in on the lotto? Really? <laughs> Alex, it has been written. <laughs> Tom. And for uh, those of you that are just joining us, you're listening to KDOG. Light rock, lots of stock. You're listening to Gone Postal in the Evening. And if you are the 9 millionth caller tonight, you can win an empty Kirkland water bottle courtesy of Costco. Best of luck to everybody. We are now at the top of the hour, 9 p.m. on the East Coast. <laughs> H2O Bubbles has entered the chat. Oh my god, now she's here, and she's talking about a rocket. Falcon 9? Really? Two minutes to lift off for Falcon 9? What? Ah, it's another SpaceX. Nice. Very cool. <laughs> I hope you've had a nice day, Bubbles. Tom Boom. You don't want you don't want this water bottle? This empty water bottle from Costco? I mean, it's Kirkland. It's a Kirkland water bottle. And it looks like we uh, do have some liftoff going on with the Falcon 9 rocket. Roger. Over. What's your vector, Victor? Over. Huh? Ah, <laughs> uh, better now my postman is here. <laughs> well, I can't I can't deliver like this rocket is delivering right now. Can't do that. Unfortunately. Well, my dogs just lost their 816, so I think we have some visitors. Okay, so apparently my mother came in through the side gate, and uh, my father apparently is as well, and she brought pizza. She brought pizza. Yay. <laughs> pizza. Is Papa Postal bad cop? Don't lie. No, <laughs> he's not. He's not. But he is right here. No, 
I see they were asking him about who, if you were oh, yeah. a um, bad cop. Yeah. yeah, you're live right now. Oh, okay. Yeah. They went. They went out for pizza. Well, that means my dad's not playing poker right now. Oh, but I'll be there in a minute. He'll be there in a minute. He says. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, we've got we've got I don't know we got a good amount of people in poker tonight, Father. Good. Yeah, we got a good twenty five or so people in there right I'm now. I'll jump on as soon as I walk in the door. Looking good. Loki says hi. Hello. Loki knows Papa Postal well. Bubbles, I'm glad you're enjoying the rocket. Yeah, it's very cool. Man, lots of things happening all at once. A Falcon 9 rocket. My parents coming in through a side door at night. My dog's going crazy, but then I find out I have some leftover pizza. That's something. H2O Bubbles says, hi, Mr. Postman's family. Hello. Would you like some Powerade, Father? So I've heard him talk about your big cup. So that... yes, it's a big cup of Powerade, Father. Grumpy Old Man says, I was accused of being bad cop and MIA's dogs. One bad cop types better than me and two MIA's dogs. Well, yeah, I hear you. Whoever it is, they're, they're quite crafty. Arctic Fox says, Papa Postal, I hope you're having a great day. I am, thank you. Oh, yeah, I fixed it. Oh, did you? Did you have to unblock it? I wouldn't have it. Yeah, that was it. it was oh, yeah. Yeah, so my, my dad got a hold of me today because he was trying to do gambles and play the slots, but he wasn't seeing Streamlabs at anywhere in the chat. He could see everybody gambling, but he didn't see any Streamlabs like giving results. So he thought Streamlabs was broken. No. I think Papa Postal. <laughs> broke his own stuff because he blocked somehow the user Streamlabs. So you figured out how to uh, block yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, it's done. I, I right. went there fine. What after you do? Well, there you go. Did it right on my phone? Not bad. <laughs> uh, H show bubbles. I, I assume you're you're familiar with Bad Cop. Dirty hands was just part of being a kid. They expect us to get rid of the dirt as we get older. In the end, the dirt stays with us forever. I will wash off this dirt once I wash off the filth in these streets by any means possible. Hashtag bad cap. Uh, I love you guys. <laughs> Bubbles wants to block Streamhag too. I know many people do. So you do agree that Streamlabs is a female. I believe Streamlabs is a scorned female. She's been scorned one too many times and now she's out for revenge. Yeah, I will get on poker after I'm done here. Get home by So Papa will be on his way home. He will be joining poker. As am I. Once I've done here. Yes, I know, Tom Boom. Blocking Streamlabs, of all things. Well, I mean, at least he didn't block, like, one of his friends on here. That, that would be something. He would never know. He would never know they were blocked. He would just think they're gone. Thank you, Mother. Too loud. Thank you, mother. My mom's being a mother right now. Sorry. Caesar says, arrest me anytime. I'll arrest you when you need to be arrested. Just ask for it, punk. Hashtag bad cap. So that's right. Bubbles says, I agree. She always had it against me. I hear you. 
All right, love you guys. See Bye. You See you online. Later, spaders. Tom Boom says, I thought Papa Postal was another name you were using. No, I don't have time for alts. I don't have time for alternate accounts. Ain't nobody got time for that. No, I actually got my dad set up on uh, his iPad and, uh, and now on his PC in his garage, which I think is the better setup. He's got his Discord set up. He's got a stream going. Got him hooked up. He's even got a webcam, though he doesn't use it yet. I think he's a little camera shy. Yes, Tom Boom. Papa Postal is a great grandfather now. Holy crap. Guess how old my dad is, too. 69, giggity. Randy Powers has entered the chat. Holy crap. How are you doing, Brandy? How are, how are the poker tables treating you? Did you get to see uh, Mama and Papa Postal? They just showed up and uh, randomly brought me leftover pizza because they just came from a Lodi pizza joint. <laughs> oh, my, my dad is not my alt. <laughs> That's the word. Well, in German it is. <laughs> Because he is older. He is older than me. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Brandy Pants. Giving a thousand bull coins to Bulldog. Hold on. I guess I should do that so I don't forget myself. Give. Bulldog. Hold on. One thousand. Yeah, Tom Boom. Great, great. Think about it. There we go. Let me just copy and paste that into the Texas Hold'em turning room, as is tradition. There we go. I'm locked and loaded. Well, that was an interesting surprise. <laughs> I did not expect them to just randomly show up in my side yard. At least I know my dogs will alert me. Not that that little yapper can probably do too much, but uh, she's the loud one. Apparently. <laughs> yeah, she's a good dog. She's the smallest one. Of course, the smallest ones have to be the loudest. Come on, come here, Puff. Her name's Hope, but her nickname is Puffer. And that's because she looks like a like a like a puffed up warthog. I don't know. Puffer, come here, sweetie. Come here. Let's show the people. Oh. Let's show them your your little warthog face. There you go. That's Hope. <laughs> She's like, I don't know what to do right now. Good girl. And then we have the next one up in line. Come here, Bella. Come here, Bella. I have a Bella here. Bella is the sweetheart of the family. She doesn't bark. She is a rescue. And she's a corgi mix. 
and she's absolutely the sweetest dog in the world. Yeah. She's my girl. And she's five years old. Come here, Hobbs. And then I have the old one. His name's Hobbs. Oh, and he's 11 years old. He's a rat terrier mix. <laughs> and he's got the ghost face because he's old, but he's very smart and still runs quicker than all the other dogs. Good boy. That's my three dogs. And then I have four cats. But they're not out here right now. Well, actually, there is one out here. Some of you guys have met Dinosaur. He's actually over here on this uh, this chair off to the side of me. I can introduce you guys to uh, Dinosaur. He's actually kind of famous in the poker room because he'll jump up on my, on my chest and he'll start like massaging by my neck. And then he also, um, also drink from the cans from the condensation while I'm drinking them I don't know people like it I'll introduce you guys to him he's a pretty cat oh there we go yes this is dinosaur he is a 28 pound kitty he used to be in the 30s but somehow he lost weight. I don't know how. But he's my boy. And he loves my switchblade comb. Benny El Dorado. <laughs> Get on the floor. Everybody do the dinosaur. <laughs> well, the internet's looking at you right now, Dino. I don't know what to tell you. I don't think he's impressed. I don't think he's impressed at all. I think he's. I think he's more interested in in this. You love the tabby's bubbles. Yeah. So we got Dinosaur, and then he's got a, a brother, they're the same age, and his brother's name is Spot. And Spot is actually in the 30s, for as far as weight. <laughs> he's like 32 pounds or something. And he's an all black cat, but he has like white on the bottom part of him. And then he has a, a black circle, hence the name Spot, right on his stomach, right in the middle. See Santa. How you doing, Santa? Dinosaur says, what up? He's gonna meet you in the bathroom. But yeah, for tabbies, these guys are huge. I had Maine Coon cats before these guys, so I was used to big cats. I didn't think these guys were gonna get big. But I do, my, my kitten, who's now, he's a few months old, Dr. Jones. He's a tabby, and I think he's gonna be a skinny mini. He's gonna be a regular tabby looking cat. No, <laughs> Benny. <laughs> no, these, these cats, uh, they, were, they were brand new kittens. We bottle fed them and everything uh, in 2016. So they, they still got a lot of life to live. They can live about 20 years, 20 plus years. And they're, they're inside cats. These, these fat bastards can't jump a fence to save their life. So if I'm barbecuing, they'll come outside and hang out in the back backyard with me, but then they come in later. Loki wants a Maine Coon cat. Man, they are awesome kitties. They're just mammoths and their paws are huge. I mean, they're, they're like bred for just being farm cats out in the snow. <laughs> they can deal with anything. But of course, you know, mine are pampered. They have no idea what it's like to be a farm cat. No, you don't, dinosaur. 
Santa lost the first round. Well, you know what, Santa? You have won at least two that I can remember just since you've been back on the poker tables recently. Good for you, Pikachu. I need a win. <laughs> I need a win coming up. <laughs> Daddy needs at least one bracelet for the year. It is heist time. Ah, when it comes to heist, you can uh, you can bet between one and one hundred little coins. Jump in that heist. Get her going. The heist is known to uh, rug pull me, so I'm going to hold off, and I'll probably stick to my gambles, but the best of luck to you guys. Loki says, I have a 17 pound straight, straight all gray that I rescued when he was super young. He is now four, almost five years old. Cool. Well, he's got a lot more life to live. And 17 pounds, I think he's probably pretty, pretty happy and healthy. This guy's purring up a storm right now. All right, we got quite a few folks joining the, the heist. Very good. Guess I'll do a gamble. I will gamble all heists. Let's see how I do. How do I do? All right, very good. So far the gambles are treating me well. Keep them coming. Keep it coming, love. Keep it coming, love. Don't stop it now. Don't stop it. No, don't stop it now. Don't stop Good job, Benny, on your win. That heist should be ready to end. See how we do. Junk savvy. Junk savvy, you're supposed to be memes. Remember that talk we had earlier? You're supposed to be meanies. You were up too late the other night. There we go. The heist has come to an end. What's it gonna be? The mission was a success, and all the Crypto.com signage was destroyed and replaced with bullcoin graffiti. Our favorite coin is now on the world stage. Heidenreich is in the getaway car. Oh my god. Arctic Fox Alaska was the only one that survived. We should have known this rug pull was coming. It was inevitable. Hashtag bet lonely cop. That's pretty lucky, Arctic Fox. The only survivor. Damn. I mean, I know I used the words rug pull. I didn't think it was going to be that big of a pull. That was a yank. That was a rug yank. I was like grabbing the rug by two hands 
and just doing a ha ha. <laughs> Sometimes the game isn't fair, and you gotta fight back. You got that right, Benny. This homie's got your back, my friend. Briar. Oh, thank you, Nufo. I was just reading uh, Bubbles' comment, and I was mentioning that I am going to do some research and find out what that's all about with the 43,000s on the bull coins. Old Raven says same thing. Okay. Let me see what's up with that. <laughs> old Raven says, don't tell him. Ah, oh, old Raven. Man, I was even giving you kudos on your 303 win for those dirty slots. Heidenreich, you are correct. My mic was not on because I was an idioso. Oh no, your cat's chewed up on a roll of teepee. Don't they understand how valuable that stuff is? Oh, they probably do. Cats just don't give it F. They're like, whatever. They see something that's glass that's on the edge of a table. They just walk over to it. Ha-cha! Knock it over. And they'll stare at you. As it bursts all over the floor. Because they're cats. Oh, Odafro says, my mail wasn't delivered. Where do I file a grievance? Uh, well, Bulldog uh, directed me to the circular file located on the, you know, uh, the moderation server. I was told he'll get right back to me, but I think it's been months. I haven't heard anything. There must be a lot of grievances. Anybody here play Hill He'll Let Loose? I've never heard of that, Old Raven. Oh, dang, Nufo got the 404. Good for you, Pikachu. <laughs> Odebro's playing Celine Dion in Discord? Well, I need to file a grievance against that, Caesar. 
if that's the case, I may file two grievances for that. <laughs> Dear God. <laughs> Old Raven says, is it Titanic song on repeat? Because if yes, I'm in. <laughs> uh. The one says, what the heck are bull coins? Well, if you type in the command exclamation point bull coins, like I'm doing right here, it will post a uh, URL that you can actually uh, jump to and it will tell you all about bull coins, a whole bunch of information about bull coins. Um, and it'll also tell you how many bull coins you have accrued. And as long as you are here, uh, in the stream and you're just hanging out you know you can go to sleep minimize it uh, you're you are accruing bull coins all the time and we use bull coins for all kinds of stuff as you can see people are gambling there's different forms of gambles people play slot machines um, tonight is poker night uh, Tuesdays and Fridays are the official poker nights and once you have built up enough bull coins it takes a thousand bull coins to enter a tournament and uh, you can win a lot of bull coins if you end up winning the tournament. And sometimes we'll play two or three tournaments at a time. And there's other games that uh, that we play as well. In fact, I think there's uh, a, <laughs> I think uh, one of these nights we're going to start doing bingo. <laughs> That's going to be another thing that we're doing in Discord. So yeah, a lot of fun stuff we can do with the bull coins. Until you hit 43. <laughs> Poor Bubbles. I'll see what I can find out. And that's true. Nufo, sand does get everywhere. Everywhere. That's true. There's going to be a lot of people on the moon, Grumpy. I don't think they realize. Yeah. The Earth is quite smaller. The, the moon is quite smaller than the Earth. There we go. Bubbles likes bingo, like the bingo idea. I do too. <laughs> Follow the rabbit, Neo. What's up, Patriot? YOLO likes the bingo idea. Very good, very good. Old Raven says, I'm so good at bingo. We'll see about that. Bubbles wants to buy a few acres in the moon. Just a few. Nufo, very good question. Is Utah happening this year, GP? I don't know. I, I was hoping the market would be doing better. 
we'll have to see how the market plays out because uh, it, it does uh, depend on things rocketing to the moon. But in our case, the moon will be a, a nice open area in Utah where a bunch of like-minded individuals just hang out, not surrounded by, by fences or anything, but just uh, just rows of trees everywhere. And of course, uh, there will be no internet except for one single house in the middle. And uh, you'll have to ask for permission to use it. And of course, it will be regulated. And of course, Utah has the cure for depression, as was spoken before, in the form of teeter-totters. On every corner in the Utah neighborhoods will be a teeter-totter. And if somebody is feeling sad, they will go sit on one side of the teeter-totter. So they will sit there teetering. And then someone will see them. And if they're feeling good, they will go and sit on the other side and they will totter that teetering person. And they will lift their spirits and even them out. <laughs> Patriots is Utah's more of an everyday experience. And of course, a disclaimer is, yes, Utah is not a cult, not a come down. Of course, no. Just a bunch of like-minded individuals that hanging out in a, in a big place all married to each other. Not a cold, not a compound. Bubble says, I want to go to Utah. That's right. <laughs> Put an anvil on the other side. No, that's too aggressive. That's too aggressive, Patriot. Well, Old Raven Farm, I, I believe D-grade and, and potentially Patriot Road Warrior can pick us all up in their trucks and we'll just ride as a, as, as a bunch of produce, basically. The land of the holy. Money Badger doing quite well with the bull coins. Doing better than me. Jason Gregory, how are you, buddy? Good to see you, man. I was just trying to think, you know, I mean, I know a lot of things ship in trucks, but we would just be packed in there like a bunch of produce. I'm just saying, it's the first word that came to mind, sir. Sorry you spit your drink out. It was not my intention. New folks says, raise that silver bullet and cheers to Utah. 2022. Well, once again, depending on the market, some ships are wooden ships, but those ships may sink. The best ships are friendships. And to those ships, we drink. Ah, cheers. Oh, Brandy Powers back at it again with a thousand bull coins. <laughs> Old Raven says, I'm just seeing all of us sitting in each of our own cardboard box cold. <laughs> Little nervous. <laughs> For the next game, Brandy. All right, good. Very, very good. Well, I think I'm gonna join you guys. How's that sound? I wanna do it.
right, guys, I'm going to be taking off. New foe, if you're listening, somebody wants to say something. Use your dirty wings and let me fly all your life. You were only waiting for this moment to rise. There was corn burning in the dead of night. Use your crypto powers and you'll see all your life. You were only waiting for this moment to be free. Don't come fly. Don't come fly. Into the light of the black night. Love you, Miss. And for the rest of you guys, love you too. Later, skater. Thank you.